Hello, hello, hello. Oh god. Elgato. Um. It's fine. Hello. Everyone, how are we doing? Welcome to the stream. Welcome to a brand new Let's Play. <clears throat> it is time to continue our uh, journey through the Ridge Racer franchise, and uh, we're doing we're doing a little 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 little, little sidestep here in the franchise. Normally, uh, originally, I was going to just continue through the numbered entries in the game, and then kind of do like the more other games later, but but this game is kind of important because this would mark the beginning of I don't know if this has an official name. I call it either the modern era or the nitrous era of Ridge Racer, but it's it's Ridge Racer on the PSP. A it, on this thing. Okay, this this thing. Now this is important because this, just like with Ridge Racer 5, this is a launch title. Ridge Racer 5 was a launch title for PS2. This is a launch title for the PSP. Not this exact model. This is more this is an updated model, but you know. <clears throat> but they made a this for this. Cool. But <clears throat> yeah, I wanted to go through this first because this is the first game with this uh in this basically era of Ridge Racer. So, because, uh, yeah. So, this came out, Japan, December 12, 2004, same day as the PSP. Uh, we got it over here in North America, according to this wiki, in, uh, in March of 2005. Now I have a Greatest Hits copy, because I didn't play this. I didn't have a PSP until, like, well, well after its life. <laughs> but it's okay. <clears throat> But uh, I'm excited to get into this, so um, yeah, this will be this will be a fun little fun little adventure, I think. Grab my controller. I am playing this on an emulator for the sake of convenience, because <clears throat> trying to directly capture a PSP, especially this thing, the battery is so old in this thing, and just just in general, just very worn out. It's much easier to just emulate it. So, <clears throat> what we're going to do... Also, excuse my uh, throat sounds. I had, like, a really bad cough t this morning. My morning cough is worse than it usually is. But, um, let's switch scenes here. Let's turn on the game audio. And, uh, I've just been having the, uh, the intro play. And let's go. So, Ridge Racer. <clears throat> Ridge Racer. Fucking do this. <clears throat> yeah, tank. That is a that is an ice cold take. Damn it! Switches back to the Ridge intro video. Racer. Also, fun fact: this is called Ridge Racers, plural in Japan. They had an S at the end. Ridge Racers. Don't know why. They just did. So uh, let's start a new game. Apparently, I have a save on here before. I have played this game before, and the only reason I know that is because it's in my games I have played through to completion section of my, uh, shelf. So, uh, let us enter our player name. Uh, let's see, is there a, uh, okay, select. And just like with Ridge Racer 5, we're gonna play as <clears throat> our street racing delinquent, Sleeve McDykel. Sleeve McDykel. Or Decale. Because that sounds less, uh, less... Uh, less like a slur. Sleeve <laughs> McSakeo. <clears throat> Would you like to proceed? Absolutely. Uh, overwrite save data, whatever. Like to turn autosave on? Sure, why not? And here we are, and I mean... Very, uh, very interesting man. You also have this upscaled a bit in the uh, emulator, so... Uh, like I use the resolution upscaling thing. I don't know how high, but... Upscaled, so... Here are our modes here. We, uh, we have a world tour mode, we have a single race mode. Self-explanatory, if you know what a racing game is, you know what the single race mode is. Pick a car, pick a track, go. Uh, time attack. Again, self-explanatory, pick a car, pick a track. 
hot lap. Wireless battle, this was for a uh, multiplayer. During the time, we have our save and load screen. And I forget that it's triangle to uh, go back in this versus circle, because I'm so used to circle, especially on the PSP. <clears throat> He's Danish, yes. Then we have our options. Uh, options are not a lot, just configure our controls. Um... I do want to use manual transmission, so I do want to have my shifting on the shoulder buttons. And then... Yeah, that looks good. Uh, audio. I am going to turn the music down a little bit, because I don't know how much of it is going to get... copyrighted, so... We're just going to turn that down slightly. We're going to keep the sound effects... All right, just checking. Just I was just checking. <clears throat> Could change our name. Save, watch, save replays along with your favorite Ridge Racer background music. Okay, so this is like the this is the music player. Hey yo, that's cool. And then there's the uh, the Rally X mini game, which uh, <clears throat> plays like on the uh, the like as the game boots up and loads. Um, if you actually get a high score, I forget what the high score is, I, I want to say like 50,000 points, you actually unlock content in this game. We'll do that at a time that isn't now. But, that's all the stuff out of the way, so, um, Fogbound. Uh, there was a couple Mike Van Dyke songs that got, uh, hit by the copyright Emerald in 5, which is why I never played them when playing the game. Anyways, uh, this is the meat of the game, the world tours, so I'm going to start the timer and we're going to go into the world tour. I'm going to shut up. Ridge Racer World Tour allows you to experience the entire scope of the Ridge universe, from the very first installment released in 1993 to the present. Come in and find out what Ridge Racer is all about. A tour is comprised of a series of races referred to as rounds. To move on to the next round, you must finish in a certain place. When you clear all the rounds, the tour is complete. By completing the tours, you will receive rewards such as new cars and horses, thereby opening up the world of bridge racing. It's possible to create a custom tour as well, perfect for when you wish to complete a series in a set amount of time. Welcome to the world of... Ridge Racer World Tour. Okay. The video just cuts off right there at the end. That might be an emulator bug or something. I'm not sure. So. Anyways. Uh, Ace Combat of Fighter Ridge Racer. So yeah. Welcome to the world of Ridge Racer. I like this screen by the way. So um, all these numbers and everything here. That's all of our like progress and unlocks. Um, it's a lot of numbers. It's a lot of random numbers. Anyways, welcome to the World Tour Sleeve, reporting your progress. You've driven a total of zero miles. This completes your report, thank you. Good luck. And here's our World Tour uh, menus. We have the tour selection, <clears throat> of which we have all of our gameplay. We have the custom tour, like was mentioned in the video, where, again, PSP, so sometimes if you're in like a five minute car ride or something, you wanna you wanna make a custom tour of like two races, boom. Do that. <clears throat> can view prizes with which we have none. And we can watch the introduction video again. So Yeah. So uh here's our tour selection. For the only one we have available to us right now is the basic tour, so uh Obviously, start from the basics. We only have one tour unlocked right now. The other eight are currently locked. Oh, Torino. <laughs> so, uh, we're just gonna get started here with the initiation. World Tour begins with a three-round series in Class 1. Take a trip back to the original Ridge Racer courses. Complete this tour to unlock the Class 2 Abel Type S. Alright, will do. Oh god, my uh, 
Here's a lean more than I expected. So three races here around tracks that will be uh, familiar to us, hopefully, if you've been tuning in through the series. But uh, let's begin the initi initiation. Choose a race for this tour. This is weird. It's like they give us the option to choose a race, but also we, it's not the option because we have to choose race one. That's so weird. <clears throat> Anyways, here's our three cars that we have to start off with. We have the uh, Kamata Fiera Type S, sponsored by Sky Kid. Uh, we have the Aj Profity Type S, sponsored by Toy Pop. And we have the Denver Bayonet Type S, sponsored by Good Luck. Or ran by Team Good Luck, I don't fucking know. Uh, each car has their own drift types. We have three different drift types in this game versus the two in uh, in Ridge Racer 5. So we have Standard, we have Mild, and we have Dynamic, which is what the Dyne stands for. Uh, each car has a top speed rating. Um, there's some uh, info about the car on this scrolling bottom screen. And uh, if we press the select button, we can also change the color of the car. So uh, customization, a little bit by a little bit, uh, it's way more limited compared to 5. Because the only thing we can do is change the base color of the livery. <clears throat> we do get 25 color options though, which is cool. Um, I'll go with the default, just color 1 for our first race here. Uh, I like that. I like that. Kamata Fiera, made in Japan. Anyways, manual transmission, of course. Uh, we can change our BGM from the menu. Which, this game's soundtrack is kind of interesting. We have basically multiple discs of the soundtrack. We have the red discs, which are brand new songs. We have the blue disc, which are also brand new songs. Um, we have the remix discs, disc, which is remixes of old Ridge Racer tracks, and then we have the classic discs, which are the old some old Ridge Racer tracks. And then there's a super shuffle, and then no BGM. So yeah, uh, I'm just gonna stick with whatever the game defaults to for now. Um, well, I'm sure I'll change discs as we go along and pick my own songs. So. The course is in excellent condition. Is your car tuned perfectly? Get ready. The race is about to begin. Oh yeah. There's our there's our uh announcer slash hype man slash DJ for this game. And away we go. Ridge Racer PSP. Hell yeah. So um you if you look at the map on the top right, you might notice this track's a little familiar. Uh yeah, this is the uh this is the original Ridge Racer track, also known as Sunny Beach from uh, in Ridge Racer 5. However, they've renamed the track again, and it's now Seaside Route 765. That's, that's the new and, I guess, final canonical name of this track. And, uh, yeah, away we go. 12 car races, starting from the back. The goal is to get from the back to the front in three laps, as always. I'm, I'm working on it. I'm trying to pass him. Didn't do a good job. Uh, but yeah. Um, in terms of the general driving, the driving is a lot more... So, from basically from here onwards, the Ridge Racer games are a lot easier to pick up and, like, play. Like, the driving is a lot easier to... Uh, it's just a lot easier. Oh, you fucker, you cu cut me off. Um, so yeah, like, it, it's still, it's still Rid Racer, but, um, if you should do Rid Racer Unbounded, honestly, what little bit I played of it, not bad, not a bad game. Um, <clears throat> it is stiffer, but it's also a lot easier. Like, the drifting is so ridiculously easy to do in this game compared to every other installment, even 5. It's it's honestly like it's pretty it's pretty mindless really 
Um, I don't know, like, how much flack the Modern Ridge Racers get for this being a lot easier. I enjoy it for what it is. And there is a new uh, gameplay feature that adds some strategy to the racing, since the handling is way... the cornering is way, way, way easier. Um... <clears throat> game of the series my second favorite really but um yeah you see those uh you see the orange and blue and red there uh we have nitrous now that's why i kind of i i dub I, I dub this like the nitrous era the beginning of the nitrous era um never figured out how to drift literally all you have to do is lift off the throttle turn get back on the throttle easy like that. Don't even need to use the brakes. The brakes are there because they have they, they, you have to have a brake button for a racing game. It's completely not needed though. And then anyways, here's Nitrous. This is the big uh The big addition to the game. You earn nitrous by drifting around corners. And then pop that shit for a big speed boost. And to over rev the fuck out of the car. Like, the fuck out of the car. This game is literally that freaking, like, uh, bumper sticker that says brakes are for pussies. Also, you have full control after you finish the race, so you can just, like, do donuts or whatever the fuck. Let's check the replay. Cute. Here's our replay. I'm gonna let this replay play for a bit so I can get a thumbnail. Yeah. <clears throat> so, obviously, the game doesn't, in my opinion, doesn't look as good as 5. But also, we're comparing a PS2 game to a PSP game. The PSP doesn't quite have as much graphical fidelity as the PS2. Obviously, it's... I mean, for all intents and purposes, this is a handheld PS2, but slightly less powerful. But... Again. Leave it, leave it to Namco to release a Ridge Racer game on the launch of a new console to show off what... what the console can do, and how good it can look. This still looks good. Like, this was such a huge jump compared to what we've had, because we had the Game Boy Advance. The DS came out, like, I think, like, in the same year as the PSP. And even, al although the Nintendo DS could do 3D models, it looked more like PlayStation 1-ish in 6... Well, not quite in 64, but, like, late PlayStation 1 kind of 3D models. Or 3D graphics, especially with the uh, low resolution of the screens. This is a fucking... This blew, blows a DS out of the water in terms of graphics. Like, it's, it's good. Real good. The card disappeared. That was weird. Yeah, that's, that's what I love about it. It's like, we're going to push this brand new hardware to its limits, but also... We're going to make it run well. Um, which is cool. This should be running at a consistent 60 FPS. I don't know if it actually is. Because my eyes suck. And sometimes my eyes perceive the frame rate as, like, choppier than it actually is. So, you know. Yeah, yeah, Saturn. Also, you know, the DS also had a Mario 64 port. So, it's, it's, the DS is about an up, uh, an upgraded N64, I'd say. Because honestly, comparing Mario 64, like, OG versus Mario 64 DS, like, 64 DS actually looks really good by comparison. Anyways, that's the replay. Hopefully I got something good that I can use for a thumbnail. Um, oh yeah, yeah, I, I understand Saturn, yeah. But, uh, 
Oh, we can actually save the replays? Okay. Cool. I can save replays. I don't have to waste stream time. Uh, we can retry the race if we fail, or just do the race again for whatever reason. Uh, return to the select screen, or we can go straight to the next round. So, here's our stats. We have our finishing position, I think top speed. I'm not sure if it's top speed or average speed. It's probably average speed. And yeah, that was our first race. Oh yeah, the course is in excellent condition. So, is your car tuned perfectly? Get ready. The point <laughs> point seven six five. Perfect. All right, time for round two: Crimson Rock Pass. This is also a um, familiar-looking track. Done with R four. Oh, did you uh, get all three hundred twenty-one cars, Saturn? <clears throat> Anyways, uh, anyone recognize this track? Because you should. This is a uh, this is Heaven and Hell from R4. Yeah, in our in our beginner Grand Prix, we're doing one of the hardest tracks from Ridge Racer Type 4. Except in Ridge Racer PSP, this track's fucking easy. <laughs> so, Pac-Man, you know, yum yum, hell yeah, Saturn. This thing does not have enough power to get up these steep ass hills. We are in class one cars. Every car is divided into class numbers. Kind of like how it was in a uh, rage in R4. So the class one cars are the slowest ones. At least we have a slightly higher, well, we have a higher top speed than the R4 Class 1 cars, at least, because those things topped out at, like, 110 miles per hour, so we're going faster than that. We're going about, eh, about the same amount of speed as the, uh, the standard Ridge Racer 5 cars. It looks really fucking pretty. It's gorgeous. I mean, it doesn't help that this is currently a, um, this is a Dusk race, and uh, Dusk skyboxes are almost always beautiful. Especially over, like, mountain ranges. Also, I forget what the they renamed. They renamed every track from... Uh, uh, so, so, spoiler alert, every track in... Well, I say every track... Um, every track in this game is either uh, a track from a previous Ridge Racer, or it, there's a couple that are inspired by and use similar routes to a track from a previous Ridge Racer, including arcade entries, like arcade-only tracks. Um, so yeah. Lots of, uh... Which is heaven, and which is hell. You decide. <laughs> Flip a coin. More in the lead. Uh, the, these, these, uh, the basic Grand Prix, or basic tour, is, they're called tours now, not Grand Prix's. Uh, these are gonna be easy. <laughs> There's no difficulty selection in this game, so... Uh, unlike with 5, we are not immediately getting our balls bursted. So... We're just gonna have a very easy go at this. At the start. I'm very bad about... well... Yeah, I'm kind of bad about hoarding my nitrous, because I'm like, I gotta have as much nitrous as possible towards the end of the race. Oh. I'm going to get him. The busting of curl balls. Okay, Divka's doing her own thing. Divka's taking a break after, uh... Beating Colin McRae 04. It's a sleeve mitt... Sleeve McDecayo's turn. Yeah, it's a new I think I'm going to con canonically call him Mikhail. Or McDecayo. It's Sleeve McDecayo. Just because saying Decayo is a lot. Again. It 
it's a... Uh, it doesn't sound like a slur, so... <laughs> Dick Hill. Uh, so, spell Michael, replace the M with a D. That's, that's sleeve. Yeah, Divka's has to uh, physically recover from all the rally crashes for her next uh, stint. Yeah, there you go. Then add McDonald's in front of it. <laughs> Sleeve Mick Decale. Richard in the Michael wave. <laughs> yes. I don't think we're going to get many quick... Never mind. I was going to say I don't think we're going to get many quips from the uh, the DJ, but I or the hype man. But while I'm in the lead, but obviously I'm wrong. Jesus Christ! That helicopter again. Ridge Racer helicopter pilots, fucking insane. They dr they fly so low and through such in such tight spaces. It's ridiculous. Uh, those are our only two cameras. This is this is our only chase cam. Then we have the bumper cam that gets the mirror. The freaking uh, the like the the after image effects to the HUD whenever you use nitrous. Bit of a chef's kiss. Not gonna lie, looks really nice. Uh, anyways, that was our uh, second race at Crimson Rock Pass. That's what they're calling Heaven and Hell now. Are you nervous? Anyways, time for our final race. Final round of the initiation tour, Sunset Drive. We have to win the race in order to make it. In order to qualify. There is qualifying positions, but also these beginning tours are so easy that you have to try to not win. There's also a quick launch range, just like with pretty much every Ridge Racer. Damn, Elon hasn't deleted your account yet, Reaper. That's honestly a surprise. Anyways, yeah, this is the first track, the novice track from uh, Ridge Racer Revolution. Revolution! Now PSPified. Oh, coward. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, you're not supposed to hit the cars. You got it. You can pass them. Yo, somebody's right on your tail. Also, hey, look, another beautiful sunset. The 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 orange like the sun beaming off the uh the water. It's very nice. Easy win. Where's the golf course? All right. All right. Keep it up. Again, the drifting is so easy in this game. And the drifting, honestly, I don't, it, it probably actually isn't, but it feels more on rails than it ever has been. Like when you actually initiate a drift, your car feels like it's, it's in that lane and it's staying in that lane until you're out of the drift. Obviously, that is untrue, but it definitely, the drift grip, like, the actual grip levels in dr while drifting is definitely higher than that of uh, older games. It's an enjoyable play. It's so nice. Like, I don't know how to really describe it or put my thoughts into words. Like, this entire, like, era of Ridge Racer, like, this, this onward, you know, until it, uh, this onward, just, these physics are very easy yet satisfying. It's just very nice to drive. Especially when you get to, like, the really fast cars and, like, the, the high, like, the high level, you know, late game and difficult shit. Really good. Oh, I'm almost full on nitrous. 
probably use some. Seven second lead. Wow, awesome trip. Seems actually hard. Apparently I've beat it before. We'll see what happens. So far I've been able to conquer Ridge Racer's uh Ridge Racer's hard things. With varying degrees of uh struggle and frustration. Prefer the physics over R4. I don't know. It's it's almost hard for me to like classify like the Nitrous era games versus the older games cuz with like basically Ridge Racer 1 through 5, the physics per game are almost like entirely different. Like one revolution and rage are pretty similar to each other, but like 4 is so wildly different from those and such tight like better and then five is also I feel like five is like more realistic okay, than four within us like in a way and then this is just it's a lot different I don't know it's it's hard to describe also hi turbo Also, yeah, so there's just something about a sunset skybox that just it 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 gives the good brain chemical. Also, I agree. Reaper Gran Turismo three sunsets are unmatched. Anyways, there's our first first tour complete. Um, the numbers here have changed. So, it looks like the 44 and 27, that's our distance driven. So, we've driven 44 kilometers, 27 miles. Um, the... So, WT04, don't know what that means. CS06, don't know what that means. Uh, CR, and then... The 3000, that's the cars we have unlocked in each class. The SP, I'm guessing, are special cars, and PC, I don't know what that is. And I, I don't know what WF is either. I'm trying, though. Anyways, reporting your progress. Cleared Tour 1, 01, initiation. Some guesses on WT, nah. Nah. Basic Tour 02, Drift Time, is now available. Basic Tour 4, Drift Challenge, is now available. Tour 5, Drift Asia, is now available. Congratulations, you've uh, acquired the Class 2 machine, Felios Abel Type S. Driven a total of 27 miles. This completes your progress report. I like these progress reports. These progress reports are... Um, very nice. I loved them in 5, I like them in this game. Ooh, and here's our new car screen. You've got a new car. Fit the Aj Abel Type S. Not as good as no, nothing will beat Ridge Racer 5's uh, car and engine scenes, but that's I like I like the car scenes in this game. Uh, this is this is a uh, Ridge Racer One PSP. All right, tour one complete. We've unlocked tours two, four, and five, but not three. <laughs> it's kind of funny. So uh, I guess we'll just head straight into uh, tour number two, drift time. Two round series in class one. Complete this tour to unlock the class two Esperanza Type S. So this is only a two race uh, tour round. And our first race around a reverse track. We have Sunset Drive Reverse and Ridge City Highway. Um, I guess we'll just move on down the line. I'll drive the Aj uh, Profity this time, and uh, I want to change the color. What's the color going to be? I don't know. We're just going to be this. Cause I like this. This is nice. So, let's see what a uh, mild drift machine feels like. BGM pulse phase. Pulse. Get ready to race. Let's go. I can feel that this race is gonna be really hot. All right, Sunset Drive Reverse. Oh yeah, it's the uh, the beginner track, the uh, Revolution beginner track. But reverse. I think I said I need to finish second. 
Oh, I forgot about that. Uh, I love... This game also retains one of the features I love about the Ridge Racer franchise is that each car has their own unique tack. Or at least brand, like manufacture. It's so nice. I love that. That was only a thing starting in 5, but, you know. I'm glad that they brought it back. Anyways, away we go. I like the I like the boost gauge on this on this. Yes. Only goes up to one bar. It's just immediate. It's maximum boost. Yeah. Lights up the tunnels. Yeah. The uh, the night lighting whenever you go through a tunnel. Chest kiss. It's another thing. A visual thing I've always loved about Ridge Racer. Is you actually like the lights turn on, and even the tack goes into like night light mode in a tunnel. So good at this time. It literally is a launch title. It it set the standard. Gun it. That means throttle from. Throttle room. Oh, okay. We lose a little bit of turbo pressure at a uh, like past seven thousand RPM. Just a little bit. I remember struggling so much with that hairpin going this direction in Revolution, and here it's just. Arbitrary. Of course, your nitpick about this game would be Ace Combat related tank. Very on brand. Yeah, it's a new record. Honestly, I haven't really felt much of a difference between the uh, standard drifting and mild. Sometimes it's not a good thing, but you know, these things happen. <laughs> yeah, my car got like one millimeter off the ground. Nitrous feeling is just. Mm. Wow! Awesome trick. Okay, for Saint Publisher. Like with the uh, the Klonoa ads in. Was it four or five that had the Klonoa ads? It was four, right? Or was it five? I don't fucking remember. Four. Okay. This is a record breaker. Yeah. Also, another kind of sad thing uh, with the limited customization, you don't get to choose your car number anymore. Car number is whatever was put on the car. I think Clyde wants out of the room. Okay. So that was Sunset Drive Reverse. And now on to our second of two rounds in this tour. Today's race is taking place here at Ridge City Highway. Ridge City Highway. Machine ready to go. The race is about to begin. And if you take a look at the map, you'll see it's the uh, it's the expert course or Three, long course from two, one, Ridge Racer 1 or Greenfield from 5. I really, I really like how, like, so, uh, 
whenever it goes to the title screen, the game like will flash like very quickly, like a frame each. We'll flash the game logos from all the older Ridge Racers, so one Revolution, uh, Rage, Rave, 4, and 5. <laughs> and literally the, like, the Ridge Racer 5 representation are just the Ridge Racer 1 tracks, but it's also in 5, so it counts. It is super fucking neat. This one's yours. Again, Namco swinging right out of the gates, showing you what the PSP is capable of, and it's pretty damn good. Right. Yeah, we can speculate forever about what tracks should or shouldn't have been in the game. I just like I just like the selection we got. That's all I care about. Luckily, this is the Ridge Racer 5 version of the track, which is wider in this section, and therefore easier. Now look at the AI using Nitrous, thinking that he can get away from me. Joke's on you, coward. Hey, look, I took the lead before the end of lap one. This is good. Um, again, this might look a little better on the simulator because I am like using their like upscaling uh, options. I mean, I have it like a times five upscale and like a times four resolution or something like that. So, it, I mean, it still looks good. Like, if this is still a PSP game and it looks fantastic. Like, upscaling can only do so much. Oh yeah, it looks- yeah, exactly. It looked fantastic at its normal resolution. And you know, PSP, kind of a small screen. You can make things- you didn't, you didn't have to have such crazy high-quality textures. Like, what we're seeing right now is on a much, much larger scale than what the PSP screen is. At least for me, I, you know, I'm playing this on a fucking 1080p fucking t monitor. Big old 23-inch. I could fit, like, th like, th 20 p at least 20 PSPs like, the entire system, let alone, this, like, not even the screen, 20 PSPs within the range of this monitor. Yeah, it's a new record. Final lap. You're, You're in first place. place. I prefer the Ridge Racer 5 DJ, by the way. I like this hype man, but he's just, it's just, it's one of those things, like, you can't beat perfection. I appreciate this guy, though. Definitely do. Excellent drift. <laughs> day. Yeah, it's a new day. No one can touch you. So, that's it. Speaking of, hey, look, she, uh, speaking of Raiko, she's the uh, race king, queen again. Of this game. She literally only appears in the intro scene, but, you know, she's she's the race queen of the game. Big East and fucking voiceover work, god yes. I'm just gonna go backwards across the line, don't mind me. <laughs> I have this, but I do. I mean, I like both of them. 
I do have a bias towards I, but like Reiko is also great. Very good. All right, so that was drift time. We have cleared the tour. Let's see what we got. All right, so I'm thinking the W the WT is obviously how many tours we have unlocked. CS, I'm guessing, is courses that we have unlocked. I'm guessing. Anyways, clear drift time. Basic tour three inside line is now available. And we have acquired the class two Nebulous Ray Esperanza Type S. Sunset Drive Reverse is now available in single race and time attack. Yay. Grid City Highway is now available in single race and time attack. And we have driven 45 miles now. Oh, suffers because Ridge Racer fans are insufferable. Actually, yes, very true, Reaper. Here's our new car. This looks like a Chrysler Crossfire, at least from the rear. I fucking hate you. I hate me too, Tank. It's fine. On to our next tour. So we've beaten one and two. Time for Inside Line, but not the NASCAR game. Two round series in class one. Complete this tour to unlock the class two Byzantine Type S. So we're still unlocking a type a lot of type S vehicles in the lower classes. But uh another two race tour, Crimson Rock Pass Reverse and Lakeside Parkway are two tracks here. So we've driven the uh the Fiera, we've driven the Profity. I guess time to uh, get in the Danver bayonet and uh do some dynamic drifting. Um, let's go with black. Fuck it. Let's do it for Dale. Denver, Bennett, made in USA. Ooh, America. Even even better. Perfect. Got Denver was a U.S. manufacturer. Let's go. Unfortunately, the car number is ten and not Get three, but race. you know. Yeah, the course is in Bayonet excellent is, condition. Really? Is your car Definitely not my favorite looking car. Ready. The race is about to begin. Anyway, it's time for Heaven and Hell Reverse. Or, oh yeah, I forgot about that. So there is a uh, pretty significant emulator bug when it comes to digital attacks in this game. Um, they don't work correctly. So, that's that sucks, but oh well. These things happen. Ooh, this feels a lot heavier. Later versions. I have a pretty recent version of this, of PPSS PP. Unless it's like a recent, recent version. Recent enough, I guess. Oh, shit. I think my version's only like... I want to say like a year, year and a half old, maybe? God, yeah, alright. So I'm guessing it's the drifting type and not the car, but the, <laughs> the dy dynamic drifting feels very heavy. Yeah, that's cute. Because of Namco's uh, whole 765 thing. That the the default records are 7.765. It's three years. Obviously it hasn't. Ever this year. Well, my version is definitely older than that, so... I'll... We'll, we'll take a look at updating this, I guess. On a day that isn't today. Speed. Yeah, it can be fixed for next session. Fuck the car. 
It's basically what I'm experiencing, Roberta. It, it feels really heavy, which is... the TLDR version of how you explained it. Yeah. Not that important. It is... I know, it's a thing. I don't kid. I'm not a kidder. My god, these class 1 vehicles. They struggle so much on these steep inclines. I do have to rely exclusively on the shift light. It's the upshift. You chuckle. Unlike Sonic, I don't chuckle. I'd rather flex my knuckles. Three fifty Z through a taffy machine. La no laffy taffy for you. Hey, remember that hairpin that was a pain in the ass in R four? Elementary. Easy. Oh. Alright, that little bit of air time the car got, it kind of initiated a drift. Wasn't ready for that. It's a philosophy here. You're in first place. I didn't even need to drift, okay. Going so slow, I didn't even need to drift at the beginning of that turn. Ah, da, 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 I'm paying attention. I'm just gonna nitrous up this hill. For the sake of the car. And then still lose all my momentum. I'm just kind of going through the uh, the cars. That fucking intake. Uh, style. Until they're trapped with a very steep incline. Oh, we'll, we'll get there. We'll get there. We'll do some rage racing eventually. Wow, rage racing. What a game. If only you were able to play it, Reaper. Honestly, I can't even really hear the uh, the music because I have it turned down. Okay, next race. Hopefully, YouTube doesn't get mad. Okay, dog shit system. <laughs> that is a fucking weird ass intake. Yeah, I just realized the double center exhaust. This is such a goofily designed car. I like it. Uh, Reaper specifically can't play it due to region lock. The course is in excellent condition. Boat plane. Plane boat. Boat plane. Get ready. The race is about to begin. Anyways, like side parkway. Hey, speaking of Rage Racer. Three, here's a Rage Racer track. Two, one, I somehow got the quick launch despite like not actually being able to see my revs. I'm Three, actually, I'm one, God. Go. Found another copy. Skill issue. Okay, let's go. Uh, he has the Japanese version of Rage Racer. Unfortunately, that does not work on an American PlayStation. Waterfall. Waterfall actually looks good, real good. Okay, I couldn't remember, like, which track from Rage this is. It's this one. I can't remember the name of it. 
I can't remember the original names of the Rage Racer tracks. Oh yeah, it has this. God, the freaking... The elevation changes in Rage were really, really ridiculous, weren't they? It's very good. Come on! Boom, boom, check it out! Don't, don't, don't. Excuse you. Oh, fuck. Oh, that sent me into a drift. Oh, God. Oh, man. Oh, shit. It's fine. Everything is okay. Oh, PS3 is baffling. Oh, plane. Uh, that's right. The PS3 still, like, the PS1 emulator on the PS3 is also region locked. Which is a shame. Oh, I gave him a boost and then he nitrist. What a, what a bastard. Also, shout out to the hype man. Go for the top podium. Top podium. Oh no, all the tracks in this game are renamed from their originals. Like, even from 5, they were renamed. Like, I can guarantee you Lakeside Parkway is not the original name of this track. Just like how Seaside Route 765 was Sunny Beach in 5. Wow, you're using the nitrous here? They smoothed out that jump there after the tunnel as well. Remember, like, if you're going, like, over 110 miles per hour out of that tumult tunnel, you just jump. They nerfed it in this game. Racer 2. Wait. Uh, it's funny you mentioned that tank. They have done that twice. Technically three times. Oh, Survivor! That's not what I expected from text-to-speech, and I'm very disappointed. Three times. Uh, so there's Ridge Racer 2, the arcade version, there's Ridge Racer 2 PSP, and then there's Ridge Racer Revolution, which is basically Ridge Racer 2. It's just not numbered 2. Spoiler alert, this, there's two Ridge Racer PSP games. I feel like I need some, like, Mathema beat or something. Something from Rage Racer for this track. Music-wise. This is a thing. It sure is. I'm doing alright, Survivor. Like yesterday. 64. That's the 64th game in the series, not the second. Oh, fuck me. Oh, God. Oh, okay. It's fine. It's okay. Look at the pretty waterfalls. Sixty-three games, absolutely. Double ass, double cheeked. Oh shit! The plane boat actually took off. Holy fuck! I never noticed that. The plane boat actually took off and is flying dangerously close to uh, the racing action. 
I just realized how large my lead is. Ready for these 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 basic tours really are just fucking babby mode. And that's not even all of them, Roberta. <laughs> Counting with Namco. One. Revolution. Rage. Four. Five. One again. Two again. Six. Seven. 3DS. Alright. Well, that was our first, uh, first race on one of the Rage tracks. And that was tour number three complete. Like we've unlocked a couple more courses. Driven 70 miles, 112 kilometers. Let's get a progress report. Cleared tour three. Required the class two Byzantine type S. Crimson Rock Pass reverse now available. Lakeside Parkway now available. And we've driven 69 miles. Nice. Nice. Here's our new car. Ooh, it's an Asoluto. Dynamic drift, so I don't know if I'll like driving it that much, but, you know. So, three tours down. Many to go. Time for our first Class 2 uh, tour, the Drift Challenge. So, three round series in class two. Complete this tour to unlock the class three Fatalita Type S. Yeah, so three tracks Midtown Expressway, Diablo Canyon Road, Seaside Route 765, reverse. So, gonna watch North Wilkes. I will probably be at work whenever the All Star race is on. So here's our class two cars that we've unlocked. There's the Ajabel, the Esperanza, the Gen oh Ganade's back. I haven't seen Ganade since uh, Rage Racer. Let's fucking go. And then the Asoluto Bizanti. Yo, they're bringing all the manufacturers back. Oh, the Cars Tour race is now? I thought that was a, wasn't until, like, Thursday or something. Everyone is here except Lizard. Lizard isn't Lizard, like, dead? No. Oh. France. We. Oui. Uh-huh. Alright. Let's do our first <laughs> Class 2 tour. This race is gonna be really hot. Oh shit, Midtown Express. Oh hey, it's I believe this is the uh the Rave Racer track. Arcade exclusive. The Renault Clio, yeah. Three, two, one, go! Looks like you got a good start. Can you keep your lead? I forget like all the uh even has Rave Racer uh logos and advertising everywhere. Okay, um let's go. One of these days I will play Rave Racer. Yes. One of these days. But, uh, not today. Honestly, it does have a very similar map to Helter Skelter from R4. Oh my god, jumps! Big air, big air! Oh, jeez. I wasn't looking. Yeah, draw Helter Skelter from memory. <laughs> Rave Racer Arcade Cabinet, please. Where would I put it? Yo, the MX-5 converted into an Art Ridge Racer Arcade Cabinet? That would be sick to have. I have literally nowhere to put it, but it would be sick to have. Speeds are going up. We're topping out at 151 in Oz, which is pretty fast for an Oz, especially in Class 2. So 
so she'll just barely move. Yeah, the base, these, uh, again, the basic tour, very, very easy. The AI are slow as fuck. Whoop! That was a, uh, that was a car assisted drift. Flip off on it. Oh my god. Popsy's 147. The, the rare false advertising that actually, like, has the car rated at a higher speed. Or has the car rated at a lower speed than what it's capable of. Oh, should have drifted that. I don't really remember this track at all, so. Because I've only ever driven it in this game. Still do. Oh, they absolutely do. This game's beautiful. Considering what hardware it's on, what hardware it's on, this game's beautiful. The fact that it was also a launch title for the PSP. How fast can we go with nitrous? 180, 181, 182. Got up to about 182 with nitrous. Woo! Tit shot in the billboard. I do remember Reiko being in a wheat, some uh, interesting clothing in this game, from what I've seen. Oh. So shout out to the turbo gauge on this thing, just pegged at one bar. Went to use nitrous, I upshifted instead. Oh, we just got an ass. Okay. Next race. Her jacket is cool though. Okay, let's check the replay. I ween. This is our first night race too. Shout out. Tits and ass together at last. Oh, yeah. Alright, next race, Diablo Canyon Road. This is the, uh, I think this is the other... No, it's not, okay. I was gonna say this is the other Rave Racer track. It is not, this is from R4. This is Hel- uh, Helter Skelter? Hit the Nitro, I don't have any. Stupid sign. Skelter. Fuck, what was this called? Helter Skelter. It's it's the second track from R4. Um, which is a two arcade. No, it was from Rave Racer Saturn. Yeah, I know. This was the second race for R4. I can't remember the name. Uh, why can't I remember the name? I literally just did an R4 themed league in iRacing. You'd think I, this stuff would be fresh in my mind. Wonder Hill, that's it. Today, Yeah, Wonder Hill. It's interesting how they chose the R4 tracks from the same area. Because it's the same, uh... Same location as uh, Heaven and Hell, or whatever it's called now. It's gonna take me a while to remember the new names of the tracks, so bear with me. circuit um some of it is just dressing the uh, some of it is like i said uh what ridge racer likes to do in a lot of the games is have like uh multiple different tracks in the same location so uh 
I'll point it out specifically, but there's another track that uh, that forks off in a different direction at some point here. A year or two ago. That's about when I played R4, so... Although, well, to be fair, all all of the Rage Racer tracks are in this the same location. the The only one that's not, actually, no, even the Oval is the same exact location. But yeah, um, the other track goes off to the right here in this location. I do not know what you're talking about, Reaper at all. I, I do not remember. I could... Ooh, it could be, actually. Like the TVR... Oh, yeah, the TVR... Because uh, there's, like, support races. The TVR support race, maybe, from Toka 2. And then that second route rejoins... Right here. Yeah, it was probably the Speed 12 in Toka 2 at Knock Hill. Oh, one rage zone with a turn one left-hander. Uh, sadder. <laughs> so, um, shooting hoops. Uh, turn one is a left-hander. Uh, airport oval from five. Uh, turn one's a left-hander. <laughs> All three of the ovals so far have been uh, counterclockwise. Oh, and oh, and rage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. I, I understand. I thought you meant like in terms of ovals. Eventually, Ridge Racer series is a fun time. And there's a lot of good starting points like R4, Ridge Racer Five, PSP. Six, seven. The ball's off was a fun time. I mean, eventually it gets hard, yeah. Uh, they're all console games, but the old, uh, like I'm emulating this game, so, you know. I mean, some of them do have arcade releases, but that's also not PC. Yeah, I don't need to play them in any order. Uh, there is Unbounded, but that's like... That's Ridge Racer in name alone, basically. How will I understand the story? To be fair, there is an ongoing, like, lore with, like, the manufacturers and shit, and, like, a couple characters, but it's all, like, I don't even know where you would learn all the text about that shit. Anyway, Seaside Route 765 Reverse. Let's go. Didn't Bugbear actually develop Unbounded? Yeah. Yeah. It's it's literally f like flat out, but it's instead of being flat out, it's an edgy game with the Ridge Racer IP. It's pretty edgy. <laughs> in its presentation. That's another goofy thing about Unbounded. A Ridge Racer Iceberg. Why you're edgy. Just like... Twelve. 
Yeah. You know, going against the man and stuff and taking over the city and Gurk Gur. Honestly, I can I see a lot of split second in Unbounded. It's kind of crazy. Excuse me. Winter coming through. <laughs> oh, split second's a fun time. I like marathon that game just on a whim one night and it was a good time. I beat the whole thing though. Critical velocity is such an interesting thing. Isn't that the mobile game? Because it's always a mobile game. Oh, hit the wall. I must have been playing on an easy difficulty or something, because I managed to go through the entire career split second in like seven hours. Someone, can someone provide a citation for what Tank is saying? <laughs> Disco Ball is a great song, by the way. I think that's what's playing. Again, I can't really hear it. I did it! Oh yeah, baby, okay, Dick Vital. Tour cleared. Cool and good. All right. Anyways, time for another update. What is our update? Cleared tour four. We've unlocked Tour 6, Drift Mania. Tour 7, Professor D. D. We've acquired the Class 3 machine, our first Class 3 machine, the Fatalita Type S. Uh, and we've unlocked Seaside Route 765 Reverse. As well as Diablo Canyon Road. 98 miles driven. For already almost at 100 miles. Fast. Here's our new car, ready to roll. It's a Team Namco car, you can tell because it's a 76. A damn 76. Alright, on to our next tour. Drift Asia. Three round series, class 2. Unlock the class 3 EO type S. Ooh. Yo. So, three races, Lakeside Parkway, Sunset Drive, Ridge City Highway, Reverse. Let's do it. So, we'll just go down the line. And for the first time since Rage Racer, we're going to drive a Ganade. The Esperanza Type S. Uh, we'll race it in green. That was German. Okay. I did not know Ganade was a German brand until just now. Ridge Racer Driftopia. Oh. The race is just Pretty sure that was a mobile game. The tension here at Lakeside Parkway is Sad Parkway. Oh yeah, this is the Rage track. There we go. Oh, this has another digital attack, so... Bugged for today. 
Looks like you got a good start. Can you keep your lead? Three laps to go. <laughs> okay, let's go. I wish I was in that timeline, Reaper. This is our first six-speed car, by the way. Everything's been a five-speed up to this point. All right. Although six gear seems to be long and shitty. Oh. Pretty sure it was a five speed. I might be misremembering. Ah, yeah. Woo. Oh, probably shouldn't downshift to there. I think I did a little engine braking. could say there was a previous generation of that car. You know, just like how in real life, cars can get radically different design changes between generations. I mean, Rage Racer was 1990, like, 8? 7, 8? And this is 2004, so... 96? Oh, okay. Damn. There's a bigger gap between Rage and Type 4 than I thought. Oh, wait, no. Type 4 came out in 98. Fuck. I keep thinking Type 4 is like a 99 or 2000 game because the in-game season takes place in 1999. Ready for nitrous. We Let's take a D pad. I'm using D pad. Like the the steering in this game is so simple, like the D pad is this feels like a D-pad game, basically. That makes sense. It's super arcadey. Excellent. Excellent. Good. Ridge Racer's a D-pad game, basically. Records. Oh, yeah. I literally do not know. I'm just kind of waiting until we get to the part of the game that actually gets interesting, aka the races that require effort. It's going to take a while to get there, though. It's the only problem. Right now, I'm just kind of taking in the sights and sounds and having a having a nice little drive. It's like a remix of the original, like Ridge Racer, uh, good driver message. You gotta teach me. Oh. There goes the boat plane. Ready. 
I like the boat plane. Oh, shit, ball. Whoops. Yeah, I should probably use my nitrous, by the way. We're almost at the end of the race. Speed. Yeah. The usual sauce. Yeah, pretty much. The difficulty is pretty tame until, like, way later in the game, like, almost end game. Oh, yeah. The course is in excellent oh, well. condition. Is your All right, we're going to go to, we're going to, let's, let's go to a remix disc. About to begin. All right, I want to go for a, a random track, but I guess we got what we got. I think the game only cycles from the between the red and the blue disc unless like I specifically choose one of the other discs. Soundtracks. Three laps to go. Anyways, uh Ridge Racer Revolution. Oh yeah, this thing's a six speed. <laughs> Duh. Mike, why is the car topping out so early? Oh, that's why. There's another gear. The whole ass another gear in this thing. Those sailboats. Cute little sailboats. Indy car transmission. Six gears, just the overtake gear. By the way, if you haven't noticed yet, whenever the position starts flashing red, that's when I'm in a transfer spot. So I have to finish top two here in order to make it to the next part of the tour, but again, um, I have taken the lead before the end of lap one, so I, th I, th I think we're good for a top two finish. Just, just a hunch. Wake the record. Excuse me. <coughs> oh, that's a wall. Ready for nitrous. Oops. Oopsie daisy. Punch it. Bop it. Squeeze it. Lick it. Yeah. Yeah, it's a new record. New record. You're in first place. Shit it. Farted. Wow, awesome trip. Awesome. Uh by the way, if you're wondering if the different nitrous like tank colors mean anything, they don't. They're just aesthetic. All three nitrous tanks are the exact same. They're just colored differently. Go for it. Snap. Dominated. Okay, let's check the replay. I think even the uh, the the hype man knows how this is gonna go. He's like, "All right, let's go on to the next race. You won. Okay. All right. Let us go to the next round."
Are you nervous? <laughs> I'm so excited. Come on. On around Ridge City Highway Reverse. So Greenfield from five. Long track from the OG. Three, two, one, go! That is one change they've made. I just realized. So you know how the reverse tracks uh, in the original and in five, the start line is on like the by the beach. Um, they did not move the start line in this game. Start line's in the same place in reverse tracks in this game. I mean, it helps with consistency, but also, you know. Oh my fucking god. Get out of my way! Track's wide as fuck, but I still can't pass these cars. It's fine, don't worry about it. Everything is okay. Because I'm going to keep telling myself that. Yes! Yes! Excuse me. Uh oh. Yep. All that coming. Yeah, for those who don't know what I'm talking about, the finish line used to be right here on the reverse course. Now it's the same location as on the forward track. The whole checker flag is still there. And they didn't bother repainting it, but... Excuse me. Oh. <laughs> Made good use of that nitrous, bud. Slam right into the ass of the car in front of you. Killing all your momentum. Nailed it. What a gamer. Oh, that's a wall. Nitros. It's the true Ridge Racer experience, yeah. Just ass slamming the car in front. Yeah, they didn't even bother like getting rid of the uh, the finish, like the paint on the on the road. Still got the uh, the finish line paint, the checkered pattern. I'm almost full of nitrous. I should use some. Kind of looking at all the roads here in Ridge City. Wow, awesome trip. I miss I miss Ridge Racer Five. <laughs> I miss my wife. It's only been like a couple months, but I miss Ridge Racer Five and just the atmosphere of the the whole city in this in that game. This whole city in that game. There we go. I'm like looking at all like the uh, like the uh, the different uh, like the different roads and be like, yep, that was the track I raced on in a different game. There, 
to the right here in the tunnel. I did it. Okay, let's check the replay. I did it. It's another tour down. Oh yeah. All right. So stuff. All right, we have completed Drift Asia. Tour eight, Tour de Ridge, is now available. What a, what a fancy name. And we've acquired the Class 3 EO Type S. Ridge City Highway R is unlocked. Driven 129 miles. In less than an hour and a half. Very cool. So here's our Himmel EO. Like they've updated the design a little bit. Over the past few years. Between 5 and this. Nice. Alright, cool. So, on to our next tour. Tour number six, Drift Mania. Three round series in class two. Complete this to unlock the top class three Raggio type S. So. There's our three races. Green Peak Highlands, Diablo Canyon Road, Crystal Coast Highway. So I guess since we're just kind of doing one car at a time, next up, we're driving the Assoluto Bizanti. Type S. We'll drive it in... Where's... Let's see. I need like a like a blood red. Do we have a blood red? Yeah, 20 is close enough. Kind of pinkish, but yeah, close enough. Arthur Bizante, made in Italy. Yeah. All right. Get Let's fucking go. I can feel that this race is going to be really uh, Let's do classic disc. Now start your engines and get ready. Here we go. Helicopter. Cow. Moo. <laughs> If I remember correctly, this is the other track from a uh, Rave Racer. I think. I've never actually played Rave Racer, so I'm not 100% sure on that. Paint it red with the blood of the cows we run over. Goddamn. I, uh, I'm making it a pro. Oh god, big jump. That turn that section is actually really cool when you're not slamming into a car five times. With the big jump while drifting. Alright, we got another five speed. Back to the five speeds. Uh oh. Hi, how you doing? Uh this one's yours. Oh god. Oh, this track's tough. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know where I'm going. Keep hitting walls. Tunnel. Okay. Forgot how tricky this track is. Cow! Moo! Oh, jeez. Big air. Jump drift. Alright. Oh, excuse you. I am speed. Oh, jeez. Just cut the chicane, fuck it. The rare uh, Ridge Racer runoff. Uh oh, that was a bad time to have that drift straighten. Alright, I think the strat is to just hold a drift through that entire section.
move over. Get it, cause cows. Whoa. Yeah, it's a new record. Final Item speed. This was not a good idea. Alright, we're good. We're fine. <laughs> I can have different cow emotes. Alright, I'm starting to relearn this track. A little bit. a little bit. That seems unsafe. There's not really a wall there. Luckily, there's an invisible wall there. The Ridge Racer says, fuck OSHA. We don't need walls. Awesome. Oh, fuck. Uh, you, we, we, ooh, ooh, ooh. This is fine. It's okay. Finish. Fuck it, reverse okay. across the line. <laughs> let's move on to the next race. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> okay, let's check the replay. Uh, that was beautiful. That was dumb. <laughs> Anyways, next race. Today's race is uh, shit. Diablo Canyon Road. Diablo. Machine ready to go. The race is about to begin. Good old Diablo Canyon Road. AKA Wonder Hill. Three, two, one, go! Got the quick launch. Burn, baby, burn. Can you keep your lead? Disco Inferno. Three laps to go. That's a lot of grandstands, Good damn. Lap. Apparently, real racing roots was a big thing. They kept those grandstands. A lot of them, too. Excuse me. Pardon. Oh. Out of my way. Oh, we're still in drift mode. Okay, there we go. We're straightened out. That one degree drift. All right. Angle. Ah, yeah. yes. I just noticed a very, very slight opacity issue with the tack. The, uh, the tack. Like the, uh, the entire box around it. There's just like an ever so slight opacity thing. That might be another slight emulator bug that could, will probably be fixed if I update this thing. Feel the drift. I like the little yeah, the checkpoint sign messages. Oh, someone's balloon has fallen. Break down and veil my album. Mental hospital shit. Non dairy sense. Damn, I might have to get on the new Veil of Maya. That's how it's being described. Oh, speaking of, I listened to the, uh, the Ghost Maiden cover that you mentioned. I really like it. Then again, I like ghosts, so, you know. Eventually. I peace soon. <laughs> it's 
surprised the car doesn't get any air off of that. Broke the record. I broke the record of nine minutes fifty nine point seven six five. Oh, oh! All right, in that little grass bank, kind of threw the car into drift mode. Wasn't ready for it to stay in that lane like that. Pretty decent example of what I mean by like the drifting is very much more on rails in this game than ever before. Like not, not completely, but the car just has significantly higher handling, like better handling when it's in when it's drifting. when the attack just it just goes <laughs> the final it. just keeps going we're revving like 12k nitrous okay. funny move on to the next race. all right two down one to go in this tour so on to the next round we're we are thoroughly within the uh, gameplay loop now. <laughs> Let's go. Thanks for the uh, resub, Steve. What's up? Make us your life, please. After TikTok boom. I mean, he's not wrong. People make the thing they like their entire personality. It's cringe. Some people make thing they hate their entire personality as well. Even more cringe. So hey, a uh, different uh, Ridge Racer Revolution track. I think this is the intermediate course from Revolution. If I like that, he's cooking. Excuse you. Oh, Jesus Christ. I like the different tire squeal noises depending on what, like, type of road we're on. not as evident as I thought it was here, but like on the uh, on the Rage Racer courses especially, there's a distinctly different sound on when you're drifting on the cobblestones versus on the just regular tarmac. Just a bit more. Oh. PS3? PSP. It's a uh, PSP launch title. Specifically. Yeehaw. Unbelievable. Yeah, it's a new record. Two laps to go. TikTok and Rock Band. Rock Band introduced me to a, quite a few, or Guitar Hero specifically. The one for Guitar Hero, I probably wouldn't be into In Flames or Dragon Force. So it would have taken me a lot longer. Unstoppable. unstoppable. I'm very toppable, though. Please. Please, I'm lonely. 
Oh. I should have just drifted this out. Oh well. Eventually, yeah. I feel like I'd still be here. It just would have taken a little bit longer in some cases. One nutty metalcore song that was over. drift through the chicane just to make it easier. When and out, drifted out. Colin, Mc, uh, Colin McRidge. <laughs> You're, You're in first play. place. We're going to be hearing that a lot. So I'm going to be in first place a lot. to say dynamic might be my least favorite of the three drift styles but like I can get used to it I just you know I'm just not a fan of how heavy it feels like how heavy the cars feel because of it I feel like I'm driving a damn boat oh I should have drifted that Oh, it's okay. The panic drift saved me. Here comes the final Everything is fine. And across the line. 1 minute 32. I improved by 5 seconds on that last lap. Goddamn. Okay, let's check the replay. Speed. Also, that was the last round, I think. It is. I've cleared the tour. We have cleared Drift Mania. No longer running wild. Alright, so cleared Tour 6. Uh, no Tour unlocks. We've unlocked the Class 3 Raggio. And Diablo Canyon Road Reverse is available. Crystal Coast Highway is available. 160 miles driven. Yeah. Here's the Raggio. Looking very, uh... Actually, I don't know. I was going to say Enzo Ferrari, but the more I look at it, the more wrong that I, I feel like I am. Oh, well. All right, six tours down. Three more basic tours to go. Next up is our first Class 3 tour, Professor D. First Class 3 series comprised of three rounds. Notice the speed increase. Complete this tour to unlock the Class, class 4 Profity Type S. Wow! Increasing speed. Whoa. Based off an of NSX. Oh, okay. <laughs> Anyways, Professor D. Haha penis. Guess our first car is going to be the uh, Absoluto Fatalita. Um. Sure. Fatalita. Fatalita. Not Fatalita. Fatalita. Thank you. Get ready to race. Robo Reiko for uh, correcting me. The tension here at Diablo Canyon Road. Uh, fuck it, Super Shuffle. All right, it's time to fire up those engines. <laughs> Notice the speed increase a whole 15 miles per hour. Oh, hey. Three, two, one, go. Digital tech. I still... <laughs> I don't know how I'm getting the quick launch with the, uh... Despite not being able to see my revs, but... Here we are. 
Ooh, six speed. This one's yours. Six speed transmission and more speed in the car. This is our second time doing Wonder Hill Reverse. Eventually, I might learn the name, the new names of the tracks, but until now, I'm going to refer to their old names, which is also going to contribute to me uh, struggling to learn the new names. The mind mage doing a little dirt drifting. So everything is fine. Jeez, big hairpin. I, I'm car still drifting. Car is no longer drifting. Just when I needed it to drift some more. Feeling good. Yeah, this is when this game starts getting like the driving starts getting like actually fun. Once we reach the like, class three and higher. What's up, Ace? We've learned the basics with the class one and two cars. Now we're uh, starting to step our game up. Slowly but surely. Oh, oh, damn it. Fucked up the exit of that turn. Just takes a ridge racer with six. Nice. Yeah, I wanted to play this uh, because this is the first in the uh, Nitrous era. It's like this is where the formula got changed drastically, so. And was maintained for a while. Wow, awesome trip. So I kind of wanted to go through this before I went through six. Ready. Feeling good. Tire squeal. First play. Yeah. Excuse me. Whoop. Yeah. At least the last one that's like mattered in any way. Sun. Sunshine. Through the clouds, actually, kind of. Sort of. Five Ridge Racer games came out. Well, there were a lot of console launches during, during that time, and Namco's got to have a Ridge Racer game for all of those. <laughs> All the launches. Okay, it's the last stretch. Keep it up. Oh, last stretch. I should probably burn all my nitrous. Okay. Oh, this thing like hard tops out at 196 with nitrous. Damn. Okay, let's check the replay. <coughs> 
some big ass bulges on the back of this car. Alright, <laughs> that was race one of Professor the D. I have no Tila. That's actually a problem. Alright, it's time to fire up those engines. Alright, Midtown Expressway, reverse. The Rave Racer track. Notices your bowl, Juwu. I got the quick launch again. There's like, I don't know how large a rev range is, but it's like a 500 to 1,000 rev range, like right before the red line, where if you launch at that rev range, you get like, you basically launch at 30 miles per hour. Quick launch. Easy win. It's like getting a rolling start from a standing start. Excuse you. Oh, we got we got us a pile here. Chief. Ooh, time for the big downhill. Big downhill left. Nyrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
Good drift. Speed. The speed really isn't even a lot yet, mate, but the inertia. Especially when you're going downhill on these Rage Racer tracks, the inertia is very good. Oh. Alright, good, th good thing I can actually drive on that grass. I think that there's pretty much an invisible wall there in Rage Racer. So they actually extended the track limits in this game. Oh, that's another little emulator bug, the sun, the sun shining through everything. Even the tunnel. Oh, that's a wall. Feel like 40 miles per yeah. Supercross games have really good inertia. Like it feels like you're going so much faster than 40 miles per hour. I felt like I was going as fast in a 250 uh, Supercross bike as I was in that Red Bull Junior or rookie's bike in MotoGP. The, the road bike was going at least four times as fast as the uh, Supercross bike. Man, bro, genie. Uh, I'm just going to say yes. <laughs> I'm more. Down the hill. Through the chicane. I didn't completely cut through the grass this time, only partially. About to eat. Okay. Have good food. This is a threat. Oh, shit. Me drive hill. Hill fast car. Me hit wall, me die in explosion. Be a man. Yahoo! <laughs> Check through window, flat out tile screen. Oh, I doy. It's fine. First place. Two nitrous ready. Oh. Whoa. You're an ultra kill act one OST. No, I don't know what that means. I can't believe you come inside someone else's pants. Ready for nitrous. I'm gonna shit your pants for that. Now you're thinking with portals. This is a triumph. Making a note here, I am gay. Because I like the taste of penis. It's the final stretch. Glory. That's as far as I'm going with that. Finish. 
I win. <laughs> like you can still build nitrous at post race. That's funny. Penis. We did it. We cleared Professor. D Speaking of dicks, <laughs> Professor D. The D stands for drift, but haha, -ha, penis. Um. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So we've cleared Tour Seven. The Ooh, Pro Tour grade has been unlocked. Hey. We've unlocked Pro Tour tips. Charging nitrous. The nitrous gauge will fill up by performing drifts. The faster the drift, the faster the gauge will fill up. Thanks. <laughs> I'd already figured that out, but thanks. If I'm on Pro Tour 10, Lines of Fire. Speaking of fire. Uh, Pro Tour 11, The Edge, You Think You Know Me. We've unlocked Class 4, Profity. Midtown Expressway Reverse is now available. Lexside Parkway Reverse is now available. We've driven almost 200 miles already. That was a lot. We got a new car. Ready to roll. Diage. Profity Type S. Doesn't really look like an Aj. Microsoft PSP I got there, yeah, thanks. Alright, so we've unlocked Pro Tour. Uh, we're not doing that yet because we still have a couple basic tours left to do. However, I am parched and I'm out of tea, so I'm going to uh, go get some more tea. I'll be right back. Okay, got my drink. Let's go back. Let's, I'm, I'm back. I, I, I've, I've been hydrated. Just in time to do the penultimate basic tour, the Tour de Rige. Oh, this is a big one. All right. An important six-round tour in Class 3 comprised of courses from the Ridge Racer world, past and present. You don't say. Complete this tour to unlock the Class 4 Fiera Type S. Past and present, you know, like every track in this game. There are a couple there are a couple unique tracks in this game, I will say that. So this is a six race tour. This is a big one. Alright. Well, we've already used the fat fatalita. <laughs> Hydrate. So I guess we'll go with the uh, the Himmel EO for this tour. Back from Ridge Racer 5 with a slightly different rear end. <clears throat> a different wing molding and design. Yeah, sure. Let's go. Get ready race, race one of six. Oh, yeah. the is in I'm just gonna I'm just to make the music super shuffle Get basically ready. from here on, I guess. I don't fucking begin. know. <clears throat> there we go. Rave Racer. Three, two, one, go! Rave Racer Reverse. Now go for the lead. <clears throat> Three or wait, no, go. not reverse. Forward. Okay, let's go. I assume we're going to get more, in, more and more six-speed cars as uh, we go up in classes. We might even see some seven speeds. Who knows? Reverse, reverse. Cha-cha right now. Whoop. 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 Yeah, I think we need to go to the left. I'm not sure. It's just... <laughs> I think that's what that giant fucking animated sign is supposed to tell me. I can't quite hear it, but I, the percussion sounds like we got a, uh... One of the OG Ridge Racer tracks. I have my, like, personal volume set just to where, like, I can hear the car. I can barely make out some of the, like, the... Basically, percussion beat of the music. That's about it. Some weird circles on the uh, the wing of this thing I just noticed. 
Whip. Jump. That's what one of the signs said on the left. Jump. You don't say. This track is literally the Frostman stage. Jump, jump, slide, slide. Ha ha, get it? Speed. Speed man. Skill issue. Not my fault. Jump, jump, slide, slide. Jump, 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 jump. Oh my god, how many times do I have to jump, jump? There, there's that BPM change. Weep. Jump, jump. Jump. And then the slide. I almost nailed that. Instead, I just nailed it into the wall. Not very many uh, opportunities to drift on this track, which means not many opportunities to build nitrous. Right, race one down. Five to go. So, on to the next round of the Tour de Riege. Oh yeah, the course is in excellent condition. Is your car Time for ready? Sunset Drive. Get ready, the race is about to begin. This revolutionary track, get it? Because it's from Ridge Racer Revolution. Quick launches are so much easier to do with the analog tack. Because I can actually see my revs. Oh, fuck. Shit. Interesting how the, uh, the tack, like, completely inverts color-wise whenever you go into a tunnel. Whenever the night lights come on goes from white with red numbers to black with white numbers. Oh, I thought the car was still drifting. It was not. Yeah, it's not as impressive as getting about sheer chance. Oh, hey. Oi. Look out of my way. I'm working on it. Uh, you know what these taillights just... It, it just hit me with these taillights. Uh, the back of this car makes me look... Think of. The the Chrysler... Uh, what was it? The ME412? That that weird concept hyper car that Chrysler made. That never got out of the concept stage. It's exactly what the brake lights... Like the back of the car looks like. We get the same song twice. GG Super Shuffle. Keep thinking like, oh, I need to downshift. The car's bogging down. Nope. Sure ain't. Punch it. Ready. Yeah, it's a new record. Final lap. You're in first place. Glory. Oh, this looks like this thing has a slightly lower 
nitrous top speed compared to the uh, the other car I just drove. I can't even remember the name of the car. We have like actual like a decent variety of like makes and models in this game, which is fairly unique. I mean, Rage Racer had a lot of unique models, but it was the same four brands. And R4 again, same four brands, decent amount of unique models, but we got a lot more here. hit the wall, that would have been tragic. For no reason, really. Tragic, because I said so. <laughs> Boom. Alright. Race 2 done. On to the next. I haven't even, like, been paying attention to what my qualifying position for this tour has been. Is your machine ready to go? Uh, about to begin. Silver Stream, sure. Fuck it. Ooh, this is new. We haven't done this track yet. From a uh, Rage Racer. This is the one with the very, very steep uh, uphill straight. Looks like you got a good start. Can you keep your lead? Now you see that long straight? Yup. <laughs> At least there was... we got a couple more tracks that we haven't been on yet. This is one of them. Yeah. To the right in the tunnel. Oh, they nerfed that jump as well. Alright. Time for this. Oh my god, the downhill. So much acceleration. Oh my god, we are flying. Ugh. And I'm not flying anymore. There went my momentum. Oh wait, who hit my ass? Who's trying to fuck on me? Oh! What was that, 208? I think I saw. Going down the hill. Wait, does this thing have a tow hook on the rear? I saw like a red hook-like object on the bottom of the car. Eclipse 200, yeah. We've eclipsed th 200 through using nitrous downhill, so. 200 asterisk. That is a tow hook. That's cute detail. 200 is 200. Sure is a red circle. <laughs> I'm still co uh, confused by like the weird like targets circles on the uh, the wing of this thing. Oh my god, the car just fucking slid! Holy shit! Uh. Towing capacity, that's not what the tow hook is for. These combat players know how to war crime you. <laughs> Alright, let's take a peek. 215. I think 215 is our top speed so far.
Eh. I have no idea where the actual power band on this thing is, so I'm just like, I'll treat it like Rage Racer where the power band is at the top of the rev range. So I lose the least amount of momentum. Don't know if it's actually true for this game. I can't even use nitrous to accelerate up these hills, they're so goddamn steep. Honestly, like... Comparing the... just just using this game alone, comparing the Rage Racer tracks with, uh... Literally every other Ridge Racer track that's existed... The elevation changes in Rage Racer are insane. Like, it, only, only Rave Racer is even slightly comparable. And like, while there's a couple steep uphills on like, the city track... Got nothing on this. Yeah, it's cute. The new Rally X Delta with having the new Rally X minigame. <laughs> Look at him go. Nyom. Alright, halfway through the tour day, Rige. The tension here at Crimson Rock Pass is electrifying. Crimson Cock Pass. Right, uh, uh, got him. Engines. I don't know. Heaven and Hell. Three, two, one, go! I'm honestly surprised that the boost gauges wow, in this game only go up to one bar. To Three laps to go. This one's yours. Oh, shit. I passed him. Yeah, you can get Ridge Racer PSP 2 on PS Plus now, which is cool. I don't know if that... I know it never got a physical release over here, but... I don't know if it even got released at all in North America. Sun. <laughs> wow, awesome trip. Emulator. So yeah, that PS Plus thing might be the first, like, instance of Ridge Racer PSP 2 being available in North America. Which is kind of wild to think about. I know I had to snag a PAL copy of the game physically from my collection. Which I have done a long time ago. Uh, with how much easier the driving is in this game, this track is easy. It's so easy, it's literally the second race in the first tour of this game. Exactly, Carl. Oh shit. It's fine. It was an unintentional drift. I wonder if the updating the emulator does uh fixes the sun layering. As well as the digital tax. I guess there's only one way to find out and that's to update it after uh tonight. To Fafo. To find out, we must fuck around.
One lap to go. I wonder how these lap times compare to the original games. Just, just thinking out loud, I actually have no fucking, like, reference times for any of these tracks. From memory. Obviously the nitrous is gonna help. <laughs> with, uh... Setting new lap records. You could. You could very well just do that, Caro. Unfortunately, I'm currently playing a video game, so I can't do that myself. Two nitrous ready. Trying to 111. Oh. <laughs> well. Of course, I'm in a stage 3 car here, and stage 3 in this game is more like a stage 2.5 for R4. Although there is the Nitrous. Doodle Bob game. Oh yeah, fucking Honky Tonk Adventures. New 5 star 110x. Damn. This is weird. Maybe maybe the gotcha the pull rates are better in uh Honky Tonk. Alright, two laps to go. Or two laps, two races to go. Are you nervous? I'm so excited. Come on, hurry up and start. Don't move the race. me. Ridge City Highway. P2 to qualify. No matter how you cut it. Speaking of, in the fucking shitty gacha game that I've been playing, I've been getting a lot of, like, not a lot, but, like, more often than I feel like it should be happening. I've been getting, uh, two equivalents to five stars in a ten roll. Hit the content wall. Unfortunate. DRT Lizard was 123s. Hmm. And the race is probably fun. Oh, whoa, eh, whoa. close enough. It's a comparison, so that works. Alright, that was a lot happening there. <laughs> I still went, got the double overtake, though. Can continue. I'm guessing you're just at the grind TM now, Reaper. All right. Yeah, unfortunate. Ah, yeah. Excellent drift. Excellent. Excuse me. Pardon me. Good. I mean, it probably is Saturn. I don't know if I ever did that, though. Skill tree now. Hmm. Uh, at least when I played, Genshin didn't have a skill tree, but I also haven't played since, like, before 2.0. So, shrug emoji. So that's what the uh, uh, Teddy Gotcha game I've been playing. They've been gradually adding more stuff. Like they've added uh, 
They're added, they've added familiars recently, which help boost their stats. Unfortunately, I haven't unlocked any yet because it's a grind to get stuff to grind to actually get familiars. It's literally, it, it's basically just uh, multiple different outlets to increase the numbers. That's really about it. There's also apparently like, you can actually like recruit dragons or something, but I haven't progressed far enough to unlock that feature. Increasing numbers is huge. I fucking spent like an hour the other night just going through my entire fucking like item inventory and re equipping every single one of my characters so that they all have an item that synergizes with their uh, element. <coughs> I may or may not be stupid. Okay. Next race. Fuck the shit out of me. I'm in fact mad okay. about it. Let's check the Unfortunate. I hate to see that. All right, final round of the Tour de Rige. Are you nervous? I'm so excited. Come on, hurry up and start the race. And it's the OG track, Seaside Route 765. She isn't, unfortunate. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> wow, what a start! This is what I want to What a start! Three laps to go! Okay, let's go! The poster character. This one's yours! Damn, blue balled hard. Unfortunate. Oh, we're getting disco ball for this race. Hell yeah. Ready for nitrous. Easy win. Yo. Excellent trip. Texas two. <laughs> The hit sequel. So what you're saying is you're going to Texas. This one's yours. It's basically what I've been, what I'm doing. I'm like, I blew a lot of my, uh, almost all of my summons and gems on recent, uh, recent banners. So I'm trying to like build up my supply again so I can do another mass summoning to try to max out another character. Fucking better be. Play Arknights. Well, unfortunate. out on all the thrilling tower defense gameplay. Ready for 
Nice lap, 56.9. Nice. <clears throat> okay, let's check the replay. Hell yeah. Alright. That was the Tour de Ridge. That was a long one. Six races. We did it. The numbers are filling up at the bottom left. Alright, so chapter tour or chapter tour, wow. Tour eight. Complete. Basic Tour 9, Drift Master is now available. Final Basic Tour. We've got the Class 4 Fiera Type S. And we've driven 250 whole ass miles already. God damn. Kamata. Fiera Type S. Front end almost looking like a catfish. Tamaro, uh, Tamaro, Camaro. Wow, I can't speak. All right, well, one more basic tour remains. And it's class three drift master. The final basic tour is a class three tour of four rounds. Complete this tour to unlock the class four bayonet type S. <clears throat> Eventually, we're gonna unlock other trims that aren't type S. Uh, that'll be for a time that isn't now, I guess. So. Here's our four races. Union Hill District. We're actually doing both directions of Union Hill. Sunset Drive Reverse. Green Peak Highlands Reverse. <coughs> Excuse me. So let's drive our uh, last unlocked Class 3 car. The, uh, the Soldat Raggio. Type S. Um, what color? Sure. Soldat Raggio made in Italy. Raggio. Soldat Raggio. Something like that. <laughs> Get ready to race. The race is just about to start. <clears throat> Excuse Union me. Hill District is electrifying. All right. All right. It's time to fire up those engines. Let's do this. Oh, that tack needle. The needle so powerful it needs support. <laughs> In the center. Three laps to go. Okay, let's go. Here we go. Oh jeez. You got it. You can pass them. This one's yours. This is really yeah. I like to call them sad individuals. Chicane's never been so easy. All right. Up the hill. Up the hill. And then back down. And then up. Oh, time for the big down. You are the man. How fast can we go? Uh, 205. When I was in the air. <laughs> And then immediately fuck up. Oh, we've got a pass for the lead. He's, he's passed him. <coughs> excuse me, pardon me, excuse me, pardon me. Oh, I'm surprised I... Not arguing is very telling. <laughs> Oi! Back here, fucko. Actually, are there even any slipstreaming in this game? Can't tell. Didn't look like I was drafting them. <clears throat> Which 
be interesting because that would be a thing that they've actually removed from five to this. Ready for You're five by five. Fucking later, loser. Some boost from drafting. Oh, do you? I wasn't paying attention to my uh, nitrous tank, so we'll have to uh, investigate that later. Barely kiss the wall. Holy shit. Alright. Oh. Alright. Couldn't not drift that that time. Alright, final lap. You're in first place. This is the part where we start drifting more and more and more. As the cars get faster, the drifting becomes uh, more important. The drift is in there, boy, yeah. It is the Ridge Racer way. The way of the Ridge. Alright, nitrosing up a steep hill. Not my smartest of choices. It's fine, though. the wall again, damn it. That's a tough corner. It's a really tough corner going this direction. I love the backfire whenever you lift off the throttle. Stop drifting! Small bonk. All right. Cool. Oh yeah, the course is in excellent condition. Sunset Drive, reverse. Get ready. The race is about to begin. Let's go. Three, two, one, go. Away we go. Let's keep this up. Three laps to go. Good luck. Oh, excuse you. Sorry. Excuse you, and then I apologize. Yep, that's yep. The duality. Yahoo! No thanks. I prefer uh, Gmail. Get because you said Yahoo. Uh huh. Uh. Whoa. Me dumb. Yes. Shit, 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 shit. All right, we're good. You know, I'm kind of glad I have no idea what. Reaper and Caro are talking about because I feel like uh, 
too cursed. No touch. Not a lot. Again, every day, I feel better and better about not following Carl on Twitter. Drift that left, what am I doing? Walking it up, that's what I'm doing. That was good. Found redacted in Tyro. Seen about two characters. So basically, what you would get on fanfiction.net. Sounds, uh... Fucked up. I don't, really, I don't really know how else to describe it. It sounds fucked up. Much better execution in that corner. The fact that you know that scares me, Carl. The worst fan fictions I can find. God. Fuck you, I'm using all my nitrous. Okay, let's check the replay. Okay. Alright. Two down, two to go. Back to uh this place. Let's go. Three, two, one, go! Wow, what a start! This is what I wanted to see. Three laps to go. Boing, boing. Oh, <laughs> Homeboy straight up just chopped his nose. Incredible. It's the scenes for P nothing. Oh shit. I did not think about the consequences of taking that jump at full speed. That's a wall. That's a car. It even does the funny Rage Racer thing where, like, the car slows down even more when it's going over the... Like, climbing over the top of the hill, the crest of the hill. And speeds up when going up the foot of a hill. That's funny. Oh! It's not where the... it's not where the turn ended. Turn, turn ended a little later than that. See, this is what therapy and maybe taking a couple years off the internet is needed for. <laughs> That'd be like saying you have a fat ass Caro. <laughs> Oppy. Yahoo! 
Oh, I'm a genius. Oh my god, that was sick. That was sick. Initiate the drift as I go off the jump. Oh my god. Can't believe that worked. Actually, I very much can believe that worked. There's nothing there. Feeling good. Final lap. You're in first place. Damn, it's weird not seeing me breaking a lap record every single lap. It's what happens when you've already done a race on this track, I guess. Okay. Oh boy. All right. Jump drift didn't work quite as well that time. I know them. <laughs> Can't weigh under a hundred pounds and be thick in any department. It's just that's just not how that works. Big wheelie. Again, it is not classified by. Yeah, this is true. I kind of forgot about the, the, the thick head. Here comes the final corner. There goes the final corner. Oh, new lap record! Come on. Yeah, there we go. Beat it by like eight tenths. <laughs> Same weight as the arm she doesn't have. Well then. Alright, one lap to go in the basic tour. The race is just about to start. The tension Damn. here at Great Peak Highlands is electrifying. <laughs> Alright, it's time to fight Moo. those engines. Caltrack. Reverse. Let's go. Go. Three laps to go. This one's yours. Yeah, those, these cows are having a good time. I love how very foggy the tunnel is that Jesus. That interrupted my thought. Anyways, I like how, like, there's just a thick fog in that one section with the two tunnels. Ah, right, where am I going? Hi, Keenan. Hi, Keenan. Hi, Keenan. Okay, we're back under control. Never mind. Oh, fuck. Oh, God. Oh, man. Oh, it's falling apart. Oh, no. Okay, now we're back. All right, I'm back. Hi, how we doing? Thanks for the raid. Oh, no. Welcome to, uh, 
first of all, welcome to the chat. Well, well, welcome to to uh, to to my channel. Hi, how you doing? I'm Rhino. Also, welcome to Ridge Racer PSP. The uh, one a launch title for the PSP, and two, the first game in what I dub the Nitrous Era or Modern Era of the Ridge Racer series. Which is precisely why I'm playing it. Moo! <laughs> Guilty Gear got another twink. The twinkening. Oh shit! Hope you had a good stream, Keenan. And. Oh yeah, you were doing the NLR shit today, right? Hopefully that went well. Oh, 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 oh. This track's difficult. This might be the only, like, genuinely difficult track in this game. P3, P1 in heat, P4 in feature. Yo, we take those. Strong. Very strong. Oh, I have full nitrous. I should probably use one of the tanks. Or... Just fucking wildly serpentine everywhere. Yeah, it's a new record. Final lap. You're in first place. Weakest track. Yo, know, the fact that you got a heat win on your worst track. That that says a lot, honestly. A big stab. Oh, that's right. It's Tooth Adventure tomorrow. One of these days, I'll figure this out. Apparently today is not that day. Maybe I should actually use the brake pedal a little bit to help drift easier. Honestly, this probably wouldn't be as difficult in a, one of the other drift styles. The dynamic drifting is a little too heavy for me for a track like this. Too heavy feeling. A tooth venture, la la, la la. Finish. I did it. Time for the replay. Forgot that was the last lap. <laughs> All right, and that's the last basic tour completed. Cool and good. So three class three car one car, three class two cars, three class three cars. We got a third class four car here. Seventeen courses. Thirteen tours unlocked. Four hundred and seventy two kilometers, two hundred and ninety-three miles. I think that's what all those numbers and letters mean. <laughs> Cleared tour nine. <clears throat> Cleared all tours in basic. I sure fucking did. Pro Tour thirteen, Rockin' Drift is now available. And Pro 14 Overtake. Got the Class 4 Bayonet Type S, the 8 Bayonet. Uh, unlock Green Peak Highlands Reverse, Union Hill District Reverse, and 293 miles driven. <clears throat> we. Here's our third uh, Type 4 car, or Class 4 car. The Danver Bayonet. Did I get any prizes? No prizes. Damn. Oh, you can set the play time for the tour. That's cute. Literally, give me a tour that is X length. That's how long I want to play. That's cute. Alright, well, that's all the basic tours done. Um... I don't actually know if I want to get started with the Pro Tours now, or maybe start the next stream with all the Pro Tours. I feel like that would make more sense. We do have four of them unlocked. Oh, these are all pretty lengthy. Um, eh, fuck it, let's get started. I want to keep playing, so fuck it, let's just keep going.
Yeah, we're getting a little chunky. So, on to the Pro Tours. Let's go. We got 14 of those available to unlock. Start with uh, Tour 10, Lines of Fire. Welcome to the Pro Tour. The first tour is a five-round series in Class 4. Experience the real sensation of the Ridge Racer world. Complete this tour to unlock the Class 5 Abel Type S. Yeah. So, fuck it, let's get started. And let's do some, drive some class 4 cars, starting with this uh, Kamata Fiera Type S, class 4 edition. Um, yes. Fiera made in Japan. Do that. The front of this car looks like what if the Catfish Camaro was made in like 2010. It's really interesting. Are you nervous? I'm so excited. Come on, hurry up and start the race. The PSP was a hell of a system first time. I wish the Vita was real. There we go. Our first slice of the Pro Tour. Maybe these races will be like... I don't think they'll challenge me, but maybe they'll, the AI will at least put up a little more of a fight. I forgot what not dynamic drifting felt like. Yeah, literally this thing got whole-ass PS2 ports. That's crazy. Honestly, I think that's probably one of the biggest technical achievements, just by look, just looking at it, is TDU. Like, they got the, fit the entirety of Oahu on the PSP. It's insane. Oh shit, I'm paying attention. Ah! Those are for nerds. Oh shit! Damn it. It's fine, everything's fine. This is our first, this is our third time on this track in like five races, by the way. <laughs> I gotta figure out how to uh, do that turn without slamming into the wall in the exit. Oh, Jesus Christ. There's a car there. <laughs> there is no PSP Vita. There's, there's literally no PSP Vita. No PlayStation Portable Vita. <laughs> Buddy. Oh, I, I, I forgot to, uh... I forgot to drift. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, cars being a little more of a pain in the ass to initiate a drift. I might actually have to use the brake, start using the brake. Oh no, I might have to start pressing the square button. Oh shit. You are missing the point of the joke, Tank. Congratulations. in the square hole. Ah, oh, right. Square hole. Trigger goes break. I, there are no triggers on the PSP. 
This is an arcade racing game. I'm using the D-pad to steer. Why do I need a trigger for something that's either full throttle or no throttle? By design. A gaslighting campaign. <laughs> So, they are a little faster now. Uh, it took me two laps of bad driving to get to the lead. But, I still got to the lead. <laughs> despite my bad driving, so. If I can just get my shit together, we'll be fine. LNR. I'm using LNR for shifting. I'd rather use I'd rather use the shoulder buttons for shifting versus the throttle. <clears throat> oh Jesus Christ. PS2 game's gonna go, that's the PSP, yeah, exactly. I did it. Didn't win by a lot, but I did it. Spy Kid. Greedy. I don't know. Hi, Taylor. Today's race is taking place here at Diablo Canyon Road. Diablo Canyon. Ready to go. The race is about to begin. All right. Two, one, go! Oh, I didn't get the quick launch for the first time, and I don't even know how long. Good luck. Also, I am existing, Taylor. That's all I can really say. I'm, I'm, ri I'm ridging the race. Assisting is good. Uh, citation needed. Good drift. Cat mom. Kaluna. Aw. Little fur baby. Love to see it. Hold the drift. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh. Yeah, that was beautiful. I wouldn't say flawless execution, but that was really good. Where the fuck am I going? It turns out Tang's a crazy cat lady. Two laps to go. All right. Sound like a debuff. Does have cat in his name. This is true, Zoku. This is true. Six months. Have you hit the hundred dollar threshold, or hundred pound threshold, or whatever the fuck? Cat. 
What? It's a Pierce aging weapon, the trebuchet. <laughs> Speaking of uh, speaking of buying things with Twitch money, <laughs> I uh, I recently purchased a video game, a brand new video game that I probably won't play for God knows how long, at a price that is a lot lower than what retailers are selling it for right now. So that was a bit of a dub. Thanks eBay, uh, eBay. I said brand new game tank. I'm not buying new in box Duke Nukem 3D for $500,000. Pot high racing. Yeah, I own Cisco now. He can call me daddy. Okay, let's check the replay. Anyways, I got the new Need for Speed. Don't know when I'm going to play it, because I still haven't even played Heat, but I ha I have it now. So. The race is just There's that. To start. The tension here at Ridge City Highway is electrifying. All right. It's time All right. To Ridge City Highway. Damn it. I didn't actually want to listen to Grip. Oh, well, fuck it. So I once again have the full Need for Speed collection. At least with the main releases. A smooth start. I still have like one more handheld need for speed to get. Okay, let's go. Easy win. Oh, excuse you. Start telling us, but yeah. I haven't played the game, but I know it's one of the worst games. Fucking RGC head ass. Support. This one's yours. Hmm. I'm not really missing it if it's not out yet, Denny. You literally cannot purchase it yet, so it's not missing from the collection. <laughs> NFS handheld game, uh, the run on 3DS. I have all the GBA games, I have all the DS games, I just need to get the run on 3DS. They're going fun. Well, that's cool, I'm still playing Vanilla Heat whenever I do play it. You know, I've watched I watched Keenan play Unbound. It looks really fun. And I really like the style that they went for it. With like the uh with like the 2D characters in the 3D world. Or the 2D art style, I should say. So honestly, I like the I like the mixture. I like the combination of like the 2D art. It kind of reminds me of like old Gorillaz music videos, where it's like you have the 2D characters in like very highly detailed uh, 3D rendered environments. Yeah, it's a new Final 
reset Pomalek. So these races are still pretty easy, but I definitely, uh, I definitely will be punished if I like dilly dally or just gratuitous, gratuitously fuck things up. Judging by this first tour. When it comes to the standard drift cars, I might actually have to use a little bit of the brake to initiate the drift in these uh, higher class cars, at least with this Fiera. Oh, top speed, 220. 220. I, was, I didn't even think to check the top speed now that we're in class 4, still now. One more race in the lines of fire. I forget where we're going. I can feel that this race is we're going, going here. Really now start your here is Midtown Expressway. Ready. Reverse. Ooh. <laughs> oh, I got the quick launch, but I wasn't on the throttle. Not bad. Three laps to go. Wasn't ready. Let's go. Yep. Hold up, hold up. I just thought of something. I just I just had a fucking brain blast. So you know how this game's soundtrack are, is divided into like different discs, right? We have the classic disc, we have the remix disc. We have the red disc and the blue disc. What if this is what the weirdos who are like trying to argue with me that high speed rings in Gran Turismo 3 was talking about? Because they're like, eh, no, it's in, it's in, it's on the blue disc, not the red disc, or it's on the red disc, not the blue disc. Maybe this is what they were talking about. Maybe they were talking about the Ridge Racer PSP soundtrack. Very weird take. Favorite track. Honestly, this is a pretty cool track. I do kind of wish there were more opportunities to build Nitrous. Because, like, a lot of these turns, you can very easily not drift. Like, other than that, this track's fun. Yeah, this is from Rave Racer. I also love clearing that jump. That, that jump. It's more insane than the GT theorists. Look, Tank, when you're dealing with YouTube commenters who are so, like... Uh, fuck, what word am I looking for here? So confidently wrong. You have to re you have to go for insane reaches to match their uh, level of intellect. And lack thereof. Yeah, if I like drifted that sweeper... Easily can fill up a bar. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. GT3 estrogen or GT3 antidepressant.
Uh, you're missing the point, Emerald. The point is, people are, were trying to argue with me. So, I don't know if anyone here has actually watched any of my, like, evolution of video game videos. Probably not, because no one fucking cares unless it's, uh, Grand Valley. Um. But, uh. I did one for High Speed Ring. And because High Speed Ring isn't in Gran Turismo 3, there wasn't a ver clip of gr from Gran Turismo 3, and I had more than one person argue with me in the comments that Gran Tur that High Speed Ring is in fact in Gran Turismo 3. It's just on the blue disc instead of the red disc. Oh hey, it's the uh, Kalmu track. Oh wait, no, this is different. Oh, ooh, okay, I see what this is. All right, so um, this is actually this is actually important to mention. Uh, this is so chat. What we're experiencing here is one of the two brand new tracks to this game. This is based off the uh, the second track in Rave Racer. Like it's the same location, but it's an entire it's a it's a brand new track. Like, it's a, it's a new route, according to what I read in the wiki. <laughs> if the wiki lied to me, I'll blame them. An original track, it's real. I literally said that, Emerald. It's the same location, it's a different route. <laughs> Like, it's the same location, it's just a different track that wasn't in Rave. Listening to the words that come out of my mouth is very useful. It's just... Uh, uh, pro, pro, uh, life hack. Uh, if you actually listen to the words that come out of people's mouths when they explain things, then you'll have your questions answered. Wow, awesome trip. Incredible. What's up, Junior? This is the Ridge and race, Ridge Racer. Yeah, this is the Ridge, and then the the city track is the Racer. Actually, no, the city track would be the Rave. This is the, uh, the Ridge. Because Rave Racer. Oh my god, I'm dragging my shit. Where's the Rage? Not here. That's a different track. Junior Fart. GTT Plus. Q. Use the estupido <laughs> on it. Now, if only we had other GT mods weren't that weren't uh, as that were as good, but and also not shady as fuck, <clears throat> or made by shady people. Damn. Oh, you're like playing on hardware? That's fucking. That's even cooler. Tracer Spec 2. Okay, it's the last stretch. Keep it up. Shady, yo, because we can't have nice things. For any reason. At all. Ever. I did it. Okay. Let's Literally put the, the car, put a car in the game. Like, haha, you can't buy this. It's going in my other thing. Give me clout. Give me clout, please. I've never known lo true. Lo I I've never known like true appreciation from another human being. <clears throat> that is a hell of a comment, Saturn. <laughs> Oh, 
All right, anyways, uh, another race, uh, another tour down. Good job, Sleeve. So, Tour 10 done. Pro Tour 12, Red Line, is now available. And we've got our first Class 5 machine, the Abel Type S. Also unlocked Silver Creek Dam, since that was our first race on that track. 346 miles. We're, we're driving about 100 miles an hour here. XP's gonna have a GT4 category. Interesting. Speaking of interesting, this Aja Bell. All right. So, on to our next Pro Tour. 11, The Edge. Pro Class 4 Tour of five rounds. Complete this tour to unlock the Class 5 Esperanza Type S. So, let's do some more racing. Five more races at these five tracks. I'll immediately forget what, what they are, except for Seaside Route 765 Reverse, because that's going to be the first one. All right. So, we went from unlocking a new Aj to we're going to drive a new Aj. A Class 4 Profity, to be specific. Um... I don't know which color to use. We'll use this one. France. Alright, let's go. Let's get ready to race. SLS looking different. Excellent condition. Is your car tuned perfectly? Get ready. The race is about to begin. It's still amazing, Junior, how, like, amazing GT2 and Iconic ended up being, despite it being a very, um, very rushed mess. Okay, I won't let my guard down. I will win, though. I will not stop winning. Oh, five speed? Five speed. This is most likely, like, probably 80% nostalgia or whatever talking, but I'd still consider GT4 my favorite. It has... I, I do recognize that his, it has not aged the best out of any of the first four games. Well, except maybe GT1. It might have aged better than GT1. Ooh, I really like the Mild Drift, actually. I think Mild Drift might be my favorite version in this game. Feels a piss. That's the the uh, the night light, the nighttime uh, lights. All right. That's what it looks like. Watch out! Here comes the nitrous. Two nitrous ready. Like I think for the time, GT4 is probably the best game in the franchise, but. In the year 2023, it's definitely not. It definitely doesn't uh, match up as well as it used to. First place is just around the corner. Greetings, first place, just around the corner. Boom. Get nitrous, idiot. age better than four. Kind of wild. Like how well GT3 is aged. Top three are two, five, and three. Uh, yeah. I mean, I still say my top three are four, two, and seven, so. Wow, awesome trip. My opinions are equally as dumb. Okay. Next 
play. I did it. We won race one. All right. Luckily, two, uh, Seaside 765 is easy. Today's race is taking place here at Crimson Rock Pass. Crimson Rock Pass. Ready to go. Crimson Cock Ass. To begin. Heaven and Hell. To see. Let's go. Three laps to go. This oh, should be a problem. Okay, he got scared. Got scared of my presence. The fuck is brake bias? You mean only rear brake tank? <laughs> At least in the case of GT1, only rear brake. <laughs> Is this our first time doing Crimson Rock Pass Reverse? I think it might be. We've done the other, uh, the, the Wonder Hill Reverse, but not this one, I don't think. Taylor. On the nose. Ready for matches. Ooh. Yahoo! So yeah, in summary, uh, these races, <laughs> the difficulty has been turned up slightly, but still very easy. You are the man. We'll see how it much harder it gets once we progress through the Pro Tour, but for now, still, uh, still cake. Oh, that's, that's a wall. Unbelievable, you just drove straight into the wall like a moron. That's honestly crazy, Junior. <laughs> it's just been in there, carried over all that time. Big speed, 206, 207, 208. Alright. We're reaching, we've at least reached the class of cars that don't need to specifically be going downhill to reach 200 miles per hour while boosting. Or while nitrous, yeah, on nitrous. Can feel the diabetes. You're in first place. That means. Da, 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 da. Who the hell do you think you are? I am. Th th thanks for the resub cue. No. Oh, fuck me. Stun zip links to fishing site. Hmm. Who needs internet security when we could ha steal all of your information and make money? 
Let's check the replay. The consumer is a means to an end. The end is uh, more cash in my pocket. I can feel that this race is going to be really hot. Now start your engines and get ready. All right, anyways, Lakeside Parkway. Race number three. Let's go. Three, two, one, go! Looks like you got a good start. Can you keep your lead? Three laps to go. This shouldn't be a problem. Zip your purse. Good luck. Whoop. Oh, fuck. Literally, what the fuck they want? Damn. It's fucked up. Oh, there's, there's another gear, by the way. This thing's a five-speed, not a four-speed. I could go faster. We're good. Hi, Zero. Thanks for the gift sub. Woo. I am once again uh, mentioning the very, very steep uh, elevation changes at in the Rage Racer courses. Because my fucking god. Are they steep? Uh. Come websites would go hard, I get it. Rage Racer track, yeah. Uh, TLDR, every track but like two in this game are uh, from older Ridge Racer games. And the two new tracks are based off of Rave Racer locations. So they're only like partially new. Totally close to the Blart Mall Cop. <laughs> Rip Mora. Ooh, almost reached 190 without nitrous there. Downhill, but still. I was assisted by gravity, not whatever the fuck. <laughs> Chemicals nitri chemical reaction nitrous is made of. That almost made sense. Chemical reaction nitrous causes. Uh boat plane. Boat plane's very important on this track. You'll see why on the next lap. Yahoo! I see you playing. I get it. Go. 4.8 second lead. Feeling good. Still, uh, still default dancing on these fools. Being a furry in denial. And down and up and down, and a waterfall. Holy shit, 236 miles per hour. The speed's becoming a lot, mate. And we still have two class. Oh, there's the boat plane, he's flying. There you go, he's zooming. Here he comes. Oh, I was going too fast. I wanted to watch him like. Almost hit the bridge, but 
I seem to be going too fast to see that again happen. Wait, 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 wait. Let's try the character. Okay, let's move on oh, 210, 212, 14, 15, 218. Okay, let's check the replay. Damn. The speed is picking up. Again, we have two more performance classes to get to. Just about to start. The tension here at Union Hill District is electrifying. All right, it's time to fire up those engines. Round four, Union Hill District. That's the other rage track in this game. Three, two, one, go! Wow, what a start. This is what I wanted to see. Oh, we're doing the reverse version. Three laps to go. Easy win. Certainly looks. Oh, wait, no, we're not doing reverse. I'm an okay, idiot. I looked at the map, I'm like, yep, that looks like a revert. We're, we're going the other backwards. I'm sure I'm stupid. There's questions about Miletin. Uh, okay, I will try to find... Uh, I'll, I'll try to notice the question and answer it. You know, 25 kilometers in a 30. Yeah, slow down. Post-launch content's good in any other games. In Kyleton games? I don't fucking know. Ready for oh, Jesus Christ. All right. Same thing in six. That's not... Not really gravy. Seven is just a better six, to be honest, with more features. Excuse you. Six was basically, all right, let's take what we made for the PSP launch and put it on the 360 when it launches, and then Seven's like, all right, let's take this and, like, make a full, like, fully featured game out of it. <laughs> to a ridiculous extent that the people, people are still playing it online in the year of our Lord 2023. could if you don't want to you could just uh uh tune into twitch.tv slash rhino gt4 in fucking however long it's going to take me to get to playing ridge racer 6 sometime this year don't know when no, it's going to be in 2023. Ready for nitrous. I'll be here. This is the first PSP game. This is the PSP launch game, uh, Junior. I thought that was the final lap. That's why I was blowing my nitrous. I'm a fool. I'm a foolish fool. I I used the brake pedal for the first time in the video game. It actually really helped. <laughs> yeah, this is PSP. I have the graphics upscaled a little bit because I'm using a little emulator, but still. PSP look good.
feeling I was fucked with the numbering, uh, Ridge Racer 64. It's okay, that game doesn't exist because the Vita doesn't exist. Also, that game doesn't exist. It's not a game, it's just a cash grab. Bonk, bonk, bonk. Speed. Shit. Thanks, Namco. <laughs> To be fair, this is only called Ridge Racer out outside of Japan. It's called Ridge Racers, plural, in Japan. That doesn't really change shit, but, you know. <laughs> Alright, one more race to go on this tour. Are you nervous? I'm so excited! Come on! Hurry up and start the race! Bristol Coast Highway. AKA the uh, Revolution Intermediate Course. Three, two, one, go! Looks like you got a good start. car. Can you keep your lead? Three laps to go. Just a little bit more. Okay, let's go. I'm going. Working on it. Easy win. Oh, that's a wall. Hundred spirits, <laughs> nerd emoji. Hey, did you know? Um, did you know uh, that uh, Namco? Uh, I don't even have a joke for this. I was going to say a very stupid Ridge Racer Eight confirmed thing, but I got nothing. <laughs> I can't even imitate stupid well enough anymore. Yo, somebody's right on your tail. Or the RGC. Ready for nitrous. Easy win. Like the RGC has gone to such a level of bad that I can't even make a joke about them anymore. That's how bad it is. They added Ridge Racer content to Drift Spirits. Ridge Racer 8 is totally happening, guys. Just like how GT7 is coming to PC. It's it's going to happen. It's a matter of when, not if. Trust me, guys. I know. See, what I did was I lied to myself, and I believe my own lie. Therefore, it's true. Oh, hello. Just like I believe the lie that uh, people actually care about me <laughs> on the internet and value my opinions. Fucking destroyed. Rip Bozo. Ha ha ha. I was talking within the context of, like, the RGC person. Your average R RGC person. Their opinions hold no value. Not, not any at all. John Pac-Man. <clears throat> what if John Pac-Man was just X-Pac? Manny. The X Factor. <laughs> as much as I hate my own opinions, at least I'm not 
your average RGC member. Wow, awesome drift. At least I have that going for me. Fucking video games are fun. Just because you're bad at them doesn't mean they're bad. Get good and stop crying, you little fucking whiner baby. How did you do that? How'd you do that? I let go of the X button, uh, pushed left on the D-pad, or right on the D-pad, and then I re-pushed the uh, X button. That's, that's how I did that. Pretty, pretty simple, Mr. Hype Man. Just gonna blow him on nitrous. Did it. Okay, let's check the replay. Chris, that's a large grain of salt tank. That's a very large grain of salt. Single granular of salt. Take this L. <laughs> My favorite in flame song. <laughs> All right, we have completed tour eleven. The edge on this day, I see clearly. I won. There's the race driver grid. I'm fucking up. All right, we've un anyways. For our report, we've unlocked Pro Tour 16, Daytime Run, Tour 17, Rising Sun, and we've got the Class 5 machine, the Esperanza Type S, 401 miles driven. Ganade. They run rampant on Twitter, yeah. <laughs> they also mod Gran Turismo games. Um. Anyways, moving on. Next tour. Pro Tour 12, Red Line. The final Class 4 tour comprises three rounds. Although this tour is relatively short, be careful not to lose your concentration. Uh -huh. Complete this tour to unlock the Class 5, Byzanti Type S. Alright, so Midtown Expressway, Downtown Rave City, and Seaside Route 765. So, here we go. And time to get into the Denver Bayonet Type S Class 4, sponsored by 8. The number 8. Um... Sure, we'll go with this. We'll go with this. ESPN 8. The Ocho. Yeah. Race. That. Are you nervous? I'm so excited. Come on. Hurry up and start the race. No. You will wait until I'm ready, Mr. Hype Man. I didn't get the quick launch. Unfortunate. Okay, let's go. It's a weird sound. All right. Sounds like we got like two different sounds coming from the car. It's weird. Jump, 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 jump. Slide, slide. Slide, slide. <laughs> Not even steering the car, just letting it go. Oh, 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 I fucked it. Uh, I'm supposed to actually drift that turn. Screaming, but also buzzing. I'm like, 
Am I hearing two different engine sounds for this one car? It's throwing me off. I beat the course record. Jesus. Well, I, I guess I'm just taking this guy with me to the front. Oh my god. Everything is fine. Did I need to drift that whole corner? Probably not. Is it kind of funny to do that? Absolutely. Also, it builds a lot of nitrous, so... Ooh. Alright, so with the dynamic cars, you kind of... If you turn hard enough, they just drift. They just, uh... They just kind of start sliding on their own. Like that. And that. Uh oh. Uh oh. Are we good? Alright, I didn't even try to initiate a drift again. Just <laughs> turning the car hard enough initiates a drift. Should probably burn this nitrous instead of wasting it. Nitrous border. Okay, I am speed. Race. That was a sub one minute lap. Let's go. Time for the replay. All right. One down, two to go in red line. Yeah, the course is in excellent condition. Is your car tuned perfectly? Get ready. Fucking, I don't know. I didn't to tune it. All right, downtown Rave City, new track. Just like with that one track, this is the other uh, new track in this game that uses the Rave City as a uh, Three laps to go. as a location. Certainly press the buttons. <laughs> Woo! Huge jump. Big jump. Ready for nitrous. Colossal jump. I remember this track now. Mostly this funny tunnel and the huge ass jump. It's a very aesthetically pleasing tunnel. Where? What's the big jump? Oh, fuck. Wasn't ready for that chicane. Still somehow made it. Ferris wheel! Big ass Ferris wheel. And Jones, big ass Ferris wheel. Throttle left and mentioned. <laughs> Twenty liter steam engine, yeah. God, taking that big ass jump just reminded me of the funny like uh, tech you can do. Um, I don't know how many of these games in this area you can do it, but I saw it done in Ridge Racer Seven, where if you actually like boot the wall when you go off a jump, you land faster and therefore lose less speed. Or lose less time because you're on the ground faster and therefore can accelerate sooner. It's kind of fucking wild.
her my kaiju princess. I was gonna say the star line's in the same place as the actual rave racer track. Yeah, it is. So we immediately go uh, a different way. Uh, that was only seven. Gravy. I got a lot of nitrous. Got that last tank filled. Did it. Our first race at downtown Rave City. Success. Dun, 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 dun. Hell yeah. Alright, last race. Seaside Route 765. The race is about to begin. Three, two, one, go! Oh, I got the quick launch. Looks like you Despite got not being able to see my revs. Let's go. Three laps to go. Again, uh, just a small emulator bug. With the digital tags in this game. Apparently it's fixed on updated versions of the simulator. We'll fuck around. Not today about that. That is a big noise. Who the fuck is bombing Ridge City? Oh, that reminds me, I haven't done my yearly listen to Saint Anger yet. Genuinely really enjoy that album. It fucking sucks as a Metallica album, but I really like it. I, I really like listening to it. Tick, 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 talk. Nope, that's that's as a uh, as a Pokemon build. Unbelievable! I don't speak C plus plus. The worst part is. Uh, Despite the Pokemon hieroglyphs being very similar to fighting game hieroglyphs, I actually know what they mean. I don't like that I know what they what they mean, but I know what they mean. You think you're gonna get some antifreeze? Shit. Yahoo! I right, drink blinker fluid. Un understandable. So fast. Finish! You're the champion! 
I'm the champion. That was a 50 second lap. Let's go. Speed. The progression of speed is very nice, actually, in this game. Mostly because there's multiple levels of speed progression. <laughs> Instead of just the slow cars and the fast cars and the oval cars. Alright. So. Let's get a progress report. Clear Tour 2 Red Line. The EX Tour Grade has been unlocked already. Okay. <laughs> Didn't expect it to get unlocked so soon. Tips, ultimate charge. The nitrous gauge cannot be filled while nitrous is in use, but by utilizing the increased speed immediately after a nitrous boost, it's possible to recharge the nitrous quickly. That's gonna come in handy. I'm, that's gonna be a very, uh, very important tech, I think. Ultimate charge. Anyways, Pro Tour 15, Drift Turn 8. It's now available. Uh, EX Tour 21, D Unlimited. Unlimited D. Uh, Tour 25, Daytime Run 2 is now available. And we've got the Class 5 Byzanti Type S. Congratulations, Downtown Rave City is now available. Driven 429 miles. And no more limits on the D. Finally. I've, I've unlocked the EX Tours. At least. Yeah, that's a nice Absoluto Byzanti. So, uh, yeah, we've unlocked these. <laughs> 16 tours in the EX. However, we still have... Uh, we still have several Pro Tours left to do. So, uh, we'll, we'll be doing those instead. However, I think this is going to be a stopping point for me. Because next tour is our first Class 5 tour. So, I think we're going to... Complete our ridging for now for today. And move on to something else tonight. Let's just go ahead and save my progress. Just hard save. Even though I have autosave turned on. And, uh... Yeah, we'll pick this up on a different day. Ridge Racer. <laughs>